Hey, hello. Hi. It's us, and you, you know who we are. Seven days remaining, folks. Strap. Man, I'm getting nervous. Strap in, because it's almost time to kiss your ass goodbye. Am I gonna go to jail tonight? We're gonna go to jail tonight. We're all going to jail tonight. Um, and it's supposed to be less than seven days, so technically I think it's six. Uh, less yes. than seven. Yeah, he did say less than a year. There you go. It's even less than you think. But we're going to pretend like the last day is next Sunday. Um, unfortunately, the wrestling did not get done in time. So we're going to rewatch last week's wrestling. Um, however, we are taking suggestions for matches. So if you guys want to see people fight certain people, comments below. Comment below. Do you know what we're listening to today? Guys, it's the, it's the origin of Sheffrey. The Italian sausage making cocksucker. Chef Boyer bitch. And you can actually hear Lauren start to form the Chef Boyer bitch insult in this call tonight. Did Jane play Doom Eternal with Rod and Alex Jones? She played just normal Doom. Hannah versus the entirety of existence. That I can do. Lauren virus the Oh versus. Can't do female versus males, guys. Alright, well, should we get in this call? Let's do it. Alright. Hi, Ali. Gold of the ring. Can barely hear you. There you are. How are you doing? Fine. Fine. Did you have a good day? No. Why not? Why not? What happened? My life is falling apart. Why do you say that? What happened today? Because it is. What happened to make you feel like this way? Nothing. Well, if, if nothing happened, why do you feel like your life is falling apart? I said apart? the same thing last night. I know you did, but why do you keep saying it? What happened today to make you feel like this? Nothing. Well, it's pretty obvious that you're upset about something. Maggie Joe or Will get upset with you about something? Oh my god. No. She's already explained why she's upset. Her life is falling apart. So why are you feeling like this now? She clearly doesn't want to talk about it, at least. Well, it sounds Past like this. She, she stated that she talked about this last night, which means that she's already talked about it and Lawrence forgot. And it's like, well, here's how it goes, guys, just for contacts. Uh, basically... Lauren thinks that she shouldn't say that her life is falling apart because she has Lauren. And every time she says that, it means Lauren's not enough, and he gets very <laughs> butthurt about it. Oh, Tyrone donated said, I love your streams, and you handle them well! <laughs> Thank you, Tyrone. Is that a, uh, a donation earlier? Do you want to read this one? Uh, this super chat has been cancelled. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, you big guys. It's that hooker lady. Are you just getting tired of the same old thing? We have less than seven days left. <clears throat> Are you just getting tired of the same old thing? Three times. Honey, I know. Can you go more into detail? I've always felt like this. It never changed. <laughs> Are you getting tired of the same old thing? Tired of the same old thing? What does that mean? Wanting to get out and do things. Are you listening? <laughs> yes, she's... I'm listening. You don't need to get upset with me. So she's basically explained to Lauren on multiple occasions that 
she's lost her voice. She can't work. Um, her friends are getting more and more upset with her because of Lauren's bullshit. So she feels like she doesn't have a life. And it's Anna! All the Hannah heads rise up. Um, but Lauren just has to, like, there's gotta be something else. Dude. Yeah. We will love you. Unfortunately, there is no Super Saiyan in this call. You keep asking. Well, no, I'm trying to figure out if there's some way that I can make you feel better. <laughs> I'd like to know what he would do to make her feel better. Phone kisses. You keep getting Are you keep asking me what happened today? Well, you just said that rather quickly that your life is falling apart. I thought something might have happened that you made you upset. It's already been explained. I have been saying that for a month or so. No, I know. Anyway. You know, you can call me when you're bored. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, Lauren, she can call you when she's oh. bored. Is that because you have no job? Anyway. I didn't know that. You can call me when you're bored if you want. Oh, you don't have to wait to call me. Just like so you never we, turn so a call talk. down. Right? If you're bored. I think there's some sheetrock. Want to see what I'm doing? Is there? I think so. So just be part of. Not doing the same old thing. You, you can call me just, just because. And do what? Call me just because. It's like watching these streams. It's something to do, says Graham Haley. Thank you. Thank you, Graham. Graham. Uh, something to do. Um. What'd you do today? You go in a hot tub? No. <laughs> Help me out here, I honey. I in my room on the computer, that's it. Nothing else to do but be on the computer? Help you out with what? <laughs> There's a part where, uh, coming up in this where... Lauren, Lauren hears how depressed Jamie is and his, his solution to it is hilarious, so... Keep, oh, out, keep on the look on for that. Uh, Egbert says, Yellow! Pretty much. Yellow. Thank you, Egbert. Ramona's di diaper said, I like donating. It's something to do. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Ramona's <laughs> diaper. You. Something to do. Help me out to try to make you feel better. Help him out to try to make her feel better. <laughs> yeah. Tell me what well, I need to do to make you, you feel better. <laughs> tell me what's going on with you. Can expect me to, yeah, but you can't expect me to just know exactly how you're feeling. <laughs> Orange teeth are yellow. I think they're more like. Well, honey, white. sitting on the sitting on the computer all day is not going to help you. Well, all day and all night. I told you why I feel this way, and you tell me I'm wrong. How do I tell you I'm wrong? So helpful. How are you wrong? Uh, how do I tell you you're wrong? You're not wrong for feeling like you're cooped up. You're cooped up? You are right now. A donation from Inspector of People. Infector, Infector of People. There Sorry, the vision is not the best. How convenient that the last day falls on a Sunday. Your calls make me happier than when Kay than Casey after she after the proposal. Oh my god, yes. Oh my yes. god, yes. I'm so happy, yes. Here's some bill money for y'all. Thank you, Infector of People. Not Thank you. Thanks so much. All right. A lot of people are right now. Holy shit. Appreciate you. Come on, don't start that. Of course, we haven't even been getting to spend any time together today, and you're already wanting to start the holy shit stuff. Like I've really done something wrong.
What did you do on the computer? What did you do on the computer? Hmm. Why don't you give us... What do you think? Yeah, what's your... You chatted. Oh. Good guess. When's the last time you were like, I'm going on the internet and the first thing you thought of was chatting? Um, like in a chat room, because that's what he's thinking. The last time I was in it. I don't think I've ever been in a chat room, actually. I had, um... A chat room? A chat room. What was it? It was like... Is it AIM? Or AOL? What was it called? Yeah, yeah, AIM. AIM? Yeah. I remember using that in, like, the fifth grade. AIM and MSN Messenger? Yeah. Yeah. That was the last time. <laughs> right, yeah. That, that then was it, actually. What about your Nintendo? Among other things. Uh, Huff, with the uh, donation there, thank you both for all your entertainment, for all the entertainment. I can't read tonight. Thank you. Thanks thank so you. Much, Huff. Thank you for the donation. Thank you. Let's uh, roll it back just so we can hear this. Among other things. Like what? What other things? Watch videos. <laughs> videos. What do you watch videos of? What is it? What uh, What were you doing 20 that, seconds you know, into being online? He's trying. He's trying to have a conversation is at least. Is this a conversation? <laughs> it's like an interrogation. My god. Money, my god. Ronas Diaper Dunyan said, If I chip a tooth eating raw ramen noodles, will the prison dentist fix it for me? They'll give you a big old fat white one. They'll take some plastic and they'll, they'll melt it into your tooth and they'll say, Job done. And you just never go get it fixed. <laughs> uh, thank you, Ramona. <laughs> this is real. I also drank water today and looked out a window. <laughs> Would you like to know my every thought as well? If you want to tell me. Oh, God. If it makes you happy, tell me. If it gives you something to do, if it gets you away from being bored, and get, helps you get some frustration out. Then yes, of course I do. He's so fucking weird <laughs> he with is. his language. He says it's like it's some rules version of. Honey, you need to get out of your room. I don't know why you think boredom <laughs> is the main problem. <laughs> why does she need to get out of her room again? Because she's on the just computer, depressed. Computer and, well, yeah, all the, day and all night. The main reason is he doesn't want her on the computer because that's where threats are. Yeah, he doesn't give a fuck that she's unhappy. However. Before that, she would go out all the time, and it was wrong because she'd get sick and she couldn't see him, or there were male threats out there. Right. So what is she going to do? Meet a male threat on the computer. What if she just stayed home and just played Donkey Kong? Would that be that, that ain't good enough. Okay, well, I guess she can't do anything. Well, because you tell me you're bored. A lot. <laughs> so what's the main problem? Like, why would you remember why I think my life's falling apart? I know, honey. It's not like I've told you multiple times. Because of your voice, I know. Because you, because you need money, I know. You need money, I uh, know. That's not Del in the ring, that is Stacy. Uh, you wanna read that one? Construction staff. Hope all is well. Dell looks sick. Nice attention to detail. Thank you, Maxwell English. I do not think that is Dell Marie though. That is Stacy Lawrence <laughs> old PO. But why don't we just say she's inspired by Dell? Kinda like Victor's yeah. inspired by Mike Servant. We'll do that. Thank Thanks you so sir. much. Yes. You sure. got things planned to make money, right? Sir. I can't do them yet. Oh, God. Okay, so you shouldn't let that affect the way that, that you're spending your time. If you know you can't do anything yet, is this... why let it affect the way you're spending your time? Is this like what are you talking trying to, about? Is he yeah, trying to like, like, motivate yeah, or something? That's what I think he's doing. <laughs> what is this? 
I don't know if can you rewind it because and like really try, like listen to what he said because I can't make sense of it. Okay, so he's trying to to provide support for his injured fiance. Okay, but really listen to the words this time. You got things planned to make money, right? You got things planned to make money, right? It's coming up. I can't do them yet. Okay, so you shouldn't let that affect the way that that you're spending your time. Keep going. It'll... If you know you can't do anything yet, why let it affect the way you're spending your time? What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, alright. You can't work, but you shouldn't let the you shouldn't let the fact that you can't make an income bother what you're doing right now. <laughs> is what he's trying to say. Okay. Right? Is that what it, and then, but then there's this bit right here. Hold on, guys. There's this bit. If you know you can't do anything yet, why let it affect the way you're spending your time? What are you talking about? This is exactly. right here. I think it gets worse. Okay, all right. Let's hear. It. Let's hear. Let's. You said you you can't do those things yet, and it's because of your health that you can't do them yet. But why let that stuff affect your time that you're spending right now? Okay. We're... Perfect loss. He repeated the, the he like, but Affect it... the way that you're spending your time right now. During the day. What does that mean? Okay. So she asked for clarification, he just repeats it again. Right? Kind of? It was pretty similar. Sorry, I guess my nose is running. Um... That means why sit in your room all day and stay on the computer? Then why not, why not just get bed? out and play cornhole even if it's by yourself? Practice cornhole yeah. or <laughs> practice movies or, practice or corn play so cards with Will or, or Maggie <laughs> Joe or do something. Sorry, one that Other than yeah, sit yeah. in your room <laughs> by yourself on the computer. <laughs> Sounds like the worst fucking day ever. <laughs> just play cornhole alone. Play, play out, uh, why don't you go outside and play just anything that well, makes it so you're not on the or computer. Or play cards with Will and Maggie. Kip. When did she ever play cards before? Uh, I choose to play with Will. And oh, then, okay. And then they played right. Go Fish in the Hot Tub and he thought that was sexual because he thought that the cards for some reason would be underwater. And you like, when you have to go fish, you go under the water and see their like half naked bodies to get the cards. Oh, I'm not even sexy. kidding. Like this isn't an assumption kind of thing. He he more or less alludes to it. He, he says that's why you didn't want to tell me about go fish because oh, you ha you get to see each other naked or some some shit like that. Can't remember the exact wording, but it, that's what he was thinking. Some some weird shit. You said you you can't do those things yet, and it's because of your health that you can't do them yet. But why let that stuff affect your time that you're spending right now? Affect what? Affect the way that you're spending your time right now. During the day. What does that mean? That means why sit in your room all day and stay on the computer? Why not get out and play cornhole even if it's by yourself? Practice cornhole or watch movies or... Or play cards with Will, or, or Maggie Joe, or do something. How are those things Other more than fun than being on the computer? Sit in your room, by yourself, on the computer. So, you shouldn't watch, you shouldn't watch videos and play games on your computer because you can go outside of your room and play games and watch movies. Right, alone though. It's the same shit. It's exactly the same. She's by herself full time. But you won't be talking to the other guy. Uh... Sorry, guys. Trying to keep up with the chat. Flatty donated said, cheer up, Jamie. Here's everything you're doing wrong. <laughs> right? Thanks, Flatty. Yeah. That's pretty much how it goes every time. At least you didn't, at least you'd be inactive and doing something and getting your boredom away from you. Why getting your boredom away things? from you? <laughs> that, now that you've gotten your boredom away from you, we can we can be together. <laughs> Playing cornhole by yourself, it's getting the boredom away she, from you. 
she's just chucking beanbags in the backyard <laughs> crying by herself. <laughs> Lauren's mom's camel tone and it said, Jamie, Amy, the cornholing queen. That's exactly it. <laughs> Thank you. I want to hear him say that again. At least you didn't, at least you'd be inactive and doing something and getting your boredom away from you. Why do I have to do those things? Your boredom away from you. It's not like you have to, but you're bored at what you're doing right now. So why not change it? Oh my God. If you're going to be bored all day long, being in your room on the computer, why not get out of your room and do something else to take away some of the boredom? Go be bored outside. Yeah. But you want me to have something to talk about because you can't make conversation? I'll say this. He does it every time. It just sounds like a dad talking to his kid. Why don't you get out more? That's like, yeah. It's like what well, my parents would say. Stop looking at your TV and go outside and play, Jamie. Honey, we can talk about things anyway. I make conversation, but... You know, I, I can tell that, that you get frustrated that you don't really have anything to talk about. She gets frustrated well, there's nothing to talk about. I said, I can make conversation, but I can tell that you get frustrated because you don't really have anything to talk about because there's nothing going on in your life right now. I can understand very well how that's frustrating. <laughs> I know exactly how that feels. I've been you there and done that. You don't have anything to talk about either. Got a donut here. It says my ten-year-old son saw a pickle horn and said, "Who's that pedo?" <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, I do. <clears throat> my truck pissed me off today. Uh, here we go. This is like the closet talk. You bitch me up when I do have anything. Bitch you up when you have something to talk about? Let's hear about your stupid truck. Uh. So you give me an attitude. Hell of a way to spend our time in now. <laughs> Hello, hey, here is mom. I went, went to fix the emergency brakes today. <laughs> it turns out I had a little friggin' wheel of As opposed to you lecturing me and telling me I'm wrong. Wrong about Got what? It. Wrong about what? You're just, you're just trying to pick a fight right now. Not right now, you don't. You're, just trying, to pick fight you're trying to pick a fight right now. I don't know why. Because you suck. Can you explain that to me? Oh, hold on. Let me skip Jamie's typing here. Oh, sorry, I forgot you can shirt bullshit and not expect responses. <laughs> Go ahead with your fucking truck. No, oh, fuck my truck. That's what I'm talking about. Yep. Let's, let's talk about your fucking boredom. You might as well. Because Lauren's really... Well, let's talk about your fucking boredom. Lauren's really helping the boredom by calling up and being like, you, you, you do all the things I used to yell yeah. at you for. Oh, you're bored? Well, let me tell you about my truck. <laughs> <laughs> my truck won't run still. Why'd you stay on the... Uh, Computer till five o'clock this morning. I don't want to talk about oh. my ex-boyfriend's truck anyway. Oh no! <laughs> they were dating. Ex-boyfriend. Huh? <laughs> okay, how about your boyfriend right now? We aren't together. No, we should be. Oh, sorry. I remember someone asked a question when this was. This was December thirteenth, twenty twenty. Will you be my girlfriend? No. <laughs> Will you fucking marry me? No. She said no to being his girlfriend, so. Uh, will you be Next my girlfriend? Step. No. Well, how about this, though? Will you marry me? 
See? That's really how you want to play this? <laughs> how you want to You broke up with me, dummy. And, uh, and I told you I didn't really want to break up with you. I'm trying, Wait, trying to get back together with... Trying to get back together with you and you Wait, keep saying no. Play this thing that that you don't want to be back together with me. You keep telling me no. If you didn't want to break up with me, you wouldn't have done it. Jamie, I don't want to be broken up That's with his you. That's way to like get her back. It's not by correcting his past behavior or apologize or anything. It's just asking repeatedly if she'll take him back, and that's him trying. It's a, um, the greatest description I heard is something like this. A rambling bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I forgot you can't shirt bullshit and not expect responses. I'm trying to go back to the, uh, marriage. Oh. No. I think, I think Sheffrey was on the 17th of December, so this is four days before Chef Recall. I believe. Go ahead with your fucking truck. Oh, fuck my truck. Did it already happen? Let's, let's this, talk about yeah. your fucking boredom. Well, no, you might as well. The marriage proposal. Mm -mm. Well, let's talk up. about your fucking boredom. Okay, alright, alright. On the computer till 5 o'clock this morning. I don't want to talk about my ex-boyfriend's truck anyway. Your ex-boyfriend, huh? Okay, how about... Your boyfriend right now? We aren't together. No, we should be. Will you be my girlfriend? No. Will you fucking marry me? <laughs> no. See? That's really how you want to play this? You broke up with me, dummy. And, uh, and I told you I didn't really want to break up with you. I tried, Wait, trying to get back together with... Trying to get back together with you and you Wait, keep saying no. Play this thing that, that, that you don't want to be back together with me. She doesn't. You yeah, keep telling me no. Playing. It's a game, because otherwise she shouldn't be on the phone with him. Right? <clears throat> if she's talking to him, she wants to marry him. That's true. You keep telling me no. <laughs> yes, if you didn't want to break up with me, you wouldn't have done it. We're together. Jamie, I don't want to be broken up with you. I love you for fucking Christ's sakes. Then you shouldn't have done it. Well, there's a lot of things that you shouldn't have done too. The thing is that we've done them. Shit happens, we can move on. And we can be get back together and start making things better again. Ugh. Good God. God knows I'm trying to. to you right now, Lorne, if you want to play that game. Jesus Christ. This is not really how I planned the fucking night to go. <laughs> Thought it'd be a whole lot better than this. Well, Why? I don't Why would know. you ever think it's gonna be better? This is actually probably the best it's been for him in a while. Yeah, there's been... There was a lot of, like, just not immediately going in on him. <laughs> Uh, Stefan donated said, Thanks, Reborn and Blue Boy, for keeping us entertained. It makes the time left before we're all in prison more enjoyable. Yeah. You're Thank welcome. You. Thank you, Stefan. Appreciate it. Jamie, I love you, and I want to be with you. The second I heard about those texts with Debbie, I should have dropped your ass. So get off your fucking high horse. Ooh. You're talking about something from... Long, long time ago. And? How? How was that supposed to Miss the point be bringing? Shit. All right, little misnamed caller. <laughs> little misnamed caller. <laughs> little misnamed caller. That would be a great that's, username. That's a great username. Someone take that right now. <clears throat> little misnamed caller. My point since you have to be led there like a child. And then Jamie types for a while. I should have dropped you a long, long time ago. So knock off this I'm playing a game bullshit. Why are you saying this, Jamie? Got it. Why are you saying this, Jamie? Oh, deflection. Deflection. 
what kind of fucking deflection is going on here? You brought up something from a long time ago. You said I was playing a game dummy. Well, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> this fucking bullshit's coming up are now? Listening? Are you? It's been fucking five o'clock in the morning really on the well. computer talking really to a really bunch well. of fucking okay, jackasses. Guys can't. You know what I mean? Did I tell me that you should have dropped me from from fucking Debbie a long time ago? Like, what the fuck is up with that bullshit? How do you not get the point? Are you stupid? How do you not get the point? Who the fuck is it you're talking to on the internet? Because <laughs> you weren't acting oh, this way last Christ. night. Well, you weren't acting this way last night, Jamie. That has to be the reason. Yep. You spend five o'clock in the morning. Uh oh. What the fuck ever? <laughs> you must have been up till 5 a.m. because you were on talking to somebody on the internet. You were talking to someone on the internet until 5 a.m. and that's why you're being a dick right now. Yeah. It always reminds me of when, um, one of my favorite lines was when Lauren's asking Ramona about forensic files again after they had, like, broke up. Mm -hmm. This is recontact or whatever. He goes, okay, after you watched all them episodes, did you go on the internet then? <laughs> oh, you fucking he just, he has no concept, he hasn't been on the on the internet, I think he says in this call he hasn't been on since, for three years. It's completely different than when he touched the internet last. Yeah. And he's just like, it's just chat rooms and, and the fucking eBay ads. You know, like that's it. But why would she need to be a dick if she was talking to a different guy on the computer? Why... I don't understand the correlation between her actions right now and with what he's accusing her of. It's because he's not getting time. So if he's not getting time and some other guy is, then we have a problem. Like you're being a dick, so... Like, she stayed on the internet with a guy until 5 a.m. She didn't stay on the phone with one until 5 a.m. And that's why she's acting this way? Yeah, because she wants him to get off the phone. Because if he gets off the phone, then she can get on the internet and talk to the guys. However, and Lauren said that does, makes sense. He, she he, can't just hang up the phone. Right, she couldn't just not call him and and then go on the internet and talk to the guys exactly. Uh, that was Allie and uh, Maria, POs, POs, and the therapist. So, I mean, it's just, it's the dumbest logic. Because it's like, here's the thing if Jamie's going to go cheat on him with a guy from the internet, he's not going to know about the guy from the internet. Right. She's not going to be like, oh, Chef Jeff is taking me out on a date. Jamie actually might do that, but hmm. that's besides the point. Anyways, they never talk what? again. Oh, never mind. <laughs> what the fuck is that bullshit, Jamie? What? Your attitude. I told her to enjoy your night. This is how she does it. You fucking blaming shit on me and you're hanging up on me? For what? <laughs> what? I don't know. I get on here wanting to talk to you. I can... Stop calling me goddamn names. Fuck, you know how stupid that fucking sounds when you constantly do that? No. <laughs> do you know how stupid it sounds when you call me stupid? I get on here excited to fucking talk to you because I haven't t talked to you all fucking day. And you act like an asshole to me when I haven't even done anything. I'm pretty sure you What's up with him? Donation from um, Onion Smoothie in the Bath, which is a great <laughs> name. Uh, when you get to jail, make sure you use your re-up name, Reborn O'Connor, Dan's best friend. That's a good idea. I should do that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Onion Smoothie in the Bath. That's a great name. At least one of us does what? Isn't 87. Will you knock off your bullshit? What the fuck is going on with you to act like this to me today? Nothing. But well, something is. So I certainly haven't done anything to fucking deserve for you to act like this to me today. Let's go back to the truck. Fuck, I barely How's even said truck? anything today. That's not, you can do that. My truck though. sucks. Right. No shit. Let's hear about yeah, your truck. Yeah, no shit. 
something is going to be something fucking easy to fix and winds up being just pain in the air. Well, I did get a primo deal. It's just a pain in the ass to fix this fucking thing. <laughs> oh, this is right when he got Come on, that new Steve. truck. Come on. Um, new no. to him. It was like an $800 truck, right? Yeah, he got... Sorry when, he got a, when he got out of jail, he got his tax return. He bought an $800 truck. So it would have been February. This is like 10 months later. And it's still not road ready. <laughs> 10 months later. He has never even smelled a pushy. And that comes right. from Danforth Anchors. <laughs> Thank you, Danforth. I agree. I think he said it smells like fish one time. And then one, Did he? Yeah, then one time he said it tastes like chicken. Tastes like chicken? Yeah. Alright. And then he said he heard that in a movie, and it's like, well, okay, but that's not true. <laughs> Sorry for getting testy, little girl. Is he saying that to her or the dog? <laughs> the dog? Oh. Yeah. Good see him eating for Jamie. She's scared of you. Who would have thought? She's scared of anybody that raises the voice. Oh, maybe you, dumbass. Yeah. You're the only one around her. Throwing beer bottles and being drunk, yelling at your fake girlfriend. She likes things calm and relaxing. No, I think Otherwise, it's just you. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> like Roskin. Yeah. I know that for a fact. And Tang. She's scared of a lot of things. What else could she be scared of? You're the only thing she sees. Roy shows up every once in a while drunk. I guess that, but it's. it's I think it's you. Yeah. No, well, you'll see when you're here. It's not just me. He's still planning on her going there. Skittish. He said. Oh, has been. We're not together. We're not together. Well, when you're here. <laughs> this special little girl. Then maybe you need to shut your fat mouth and not scare her. But what do I know? <laughs> Well, maybe you need to stop all your bullshit talk. <laughs> what? Good, good comeback. Oh my god. Don't blame me for being a terrible pet owner. Mm, special little girl. Mm, special little girl. I'm not a terrible pet owner. You're scaring her, not me. You're just getting me wound up, so... You're scaring her, not me. <laughs> I like the... With Rosady and Roscoe have their five inch <laughs> talons. They're walking around on stilts, just clacking around. Don't blame me. Take some responsibility. Play that again. What is it? Don't blame me for being a terrible pet owner. I'm not a terrible pet owner. You're scaring her, not me. You're just getting me wound up, so... You're scaring her, not me. Can... Yeah, he's blaming Jamie yeah. for that. Yeah, it's your fault that I'm yelling at the dog. Don't blame me. Take some responsibility. What is, what is wrong with you today? <laughs> well, let's just move on from that. It's my fault you scare your dogs. Jamie, you know what I'm saying. Mm, that's exactly what you're saying. Why are you giving me an attitude today? Attitude. How's your truck? <laughs> Let's just keep going back to the truck. It sucks right now. Oh. I did start working on the body a little bit. After getting frustrated with the emergency brakes. Why can't you finally fix it? I can, it's just a pain in the ass to fix. It's just because it's rusted right on there. So I gotta take the grinding wheel and cut some bolts off. It's never going to pass. You should give up. <laughs> oh, it'll pass. She said I gotta cut some bolts off to get them inside the drum so I can fix the inside parts. Yeah. Okay. So I can replace That's the exactly inside parts of them. I was thinking it was all the outside parts, and I replaced all those. Got donation from Stinkabel. Sorry to ask again, baby, but how far into the relationship uh, Warren proposed to Jamie with 
that piece of paper on his pecker. Uh... Dan Jones, you know, the inside parts of the truck. The inside parts. I think the first time was somewhere, in, somewhere between February of when he got out of prison to um, April. Somewhere in there. So from from zero to three, four months is when he proposed the first time. The second time he proposed was like July of 2020. I can't remember the exact day, but I think it was July. Did the truck ever pass? Um, it eventually did, yes, but it, it was not now. It was not at this point in time. Um, he did this, this little, like, puff out on the mechanic gimmick a couple times where he's like, I'm going to get it to pass, and then you come home and be like, it didn't fucking pass again. <laughs> it didn't fucking pass again. And then he got, um, he did that, like, improper passing, and I think after that he had to get it done legitimately because he didn't want to get hit again. Or he got pulled over because it wasn't. I can't remember. Something like that. Uh, from what I remember, it, it's, um, it was because of the improper passing that he got started. a ticket. That, that he oh that he had to fix it. I think they, they told him like during that yeah, the traffic they're, stop they're like it, you him. can't be driving this thing. Yeah. And also at one point didn't it, it the brakes not work at all? He was complaining the brakes didn't work properly and it was the emergency brake not the. Oh brakes. I thought he was talking because I thought at one point he had to like coast until it stopped. Did I just make that I up? I don't think that happened. <laughs> I could be wrong on that, but I don't think that happened. I know his parking brake didn't work. Oh okay. My yeah, friend is funnier. It so is funnier. that's how I'm going to remember it's it. The inside parts. Why not pay someone to do the job properly? That's a, that's a great question. Because it costs money that I don't have right now. And I don't I don't usually take it to a mechanic anyway. Usually I do it by myself. Or if I don't know what I'm doing, then I call Uncle Clyde. And he usually knows what to do. And this time he didn't know what to do. Just take the mechanic and never seen the a setup like, like this one before. So he just doesn't want to The only this. one that I've... No, that would know it. He's like, I don't have money to get it repaired, but then he'll go and buy parts he doesn't need for different repairs that aren't is even it, like... Is it like a white trash pride thing to not take your car into an, a mechanic to have them work on it? <laughs> Maybe. I remember one time he did a bunch of body work in the back end because it wasn't covered, and he was like, alright, it's road ready. And then he goes, oh, they found two other things that weren't right when it's like, I'm pretty sure those were the things you were supposed to fix, not the, the body of the truck, but... I mean, he could have just saved up a little bit more money and not buy the first piece of garbage he saw exactly he's just like, oh, that's cheap that'll work ADD it's, that's exactly it it's okay to not know something yeah he needs a, a cement mixer <laughs> mechanic up the road I think he's taking bell by the way so I called him and he, he told me what to do because he has the same he has like two or three of the same type of trucks so that he's he's had to change his and some others that are exactly like it. So Lauren doesn't have the <laughs> knowledge, but someone he knows has trucks like it. The mechanic down the street does. He called him for free advice. That's how you get. That's how you get stuff for free in Lawrence World. You he just does go that. To the place it's, yeah, yeah, he does that for the antique place. He yeah. takes it. He takes something that he finds to the antique store and just harasses these poor people. Yeah, he goes, "How much? How much would you sell this for?" To and get free like, appraisals. Yeah, they'd be like, "We'll we'll take it off your hands for this much." And he goes, "Well, I can sell it more than that." And just leave. Or they'll be like, well, we'll, we'll take it for $10. And he's like, okay, so it's so... So how much would you sell it for, though? And they'll be like, $30. He goes, yeah. $30. Puts it on the yard sale for $30. Why do they allow this? I don't know. These people, are, they're very nice people at the antique store, from what uh, we've heard in the conversation. They have patience. More patience than I yeah. like this idiot. Yeah, because he's in there doing his, like, stupid ass, like, you know, his stand-up comedy routine that is... It's not funny, and they're just giving him pity laughs. If that. If even that. If even that, One yes. time he took a secret photo of a woman there because um, basically this this situation, this argument arose because Lauren shaved his mustache off without telling Jamie, and he was inside of the antique store, and the woman says out loud, you look better without that mustache. Oh, I remember that. And she goes, you shaved it? And he thought that, for whatever reason, he thought Jamie was jealous of this old lady, so he snapped a photo of her and sent it to her, and she says, nothing to worry about. She's like, no, that's not what it is. It's that you lied about shaving your mustache, you fucking idiot. I don't know why you're jealous of the woman at the, at the shop store. I don't think she's attractive. 
Do you want me to donation? Uh, what is Blue Boy's favorite tattoo? Probably this one. What is it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I have a lot of them. I love them all equally. There you, there you go. Uh, thank you, DSP. Lied about a mustache. That's right, ADD. Lied about a mustache. Just like he lied about smoking one time, and he was caught in a in a picture with smoke coming up his face, and it was like, that's a cigarette. That was a Sawzall. <laughs> liar. Oh, I love that one. You fucking liar. <laughs> and he told me it's gonna be a pain in the ass. He said, I've gotta Why not heat up the bowl. Why not check to pay someone to fix it? That's a good. That's because a good. That, that next check, I need, I need that money in that next check to pay the light bill and then. The next check, you gotta pay on your ring. <laughs> pay on the ring, they're not engaged. <laughs> I gotta pay on, on the ring, your ring. Fuck um, out of here, dude. Fix your truck. At the time, most of his unemployment either went to his aunt to pay his land off when he was in prison or for whatever reason this ring that he decided to get or yard sales or the gravel that he got that he owes money on or other debts does he say like his light bill that just means all he means electrical okay the light bill the light bill that's probably also behind isn't the light bill in his mother's name too the, mo the light bill is in his mother's name, yes. So he doesn't really have to pay that one. If he didn't want to, no. Let that bitch take care of it. Let, the, let her take care of it. <laughs> Gravel was for the... Uh, what are moms for? They're yeah. not to pay your light bill when you're 55. Mothers are golden. By that, I mean they give me money. Um. The the gravel is for his, like, horseshoe driveway thing he was building that just washed away in the first rain. Mr. Questioner has a question. Mr. Questionnaire is a, is a person? Everybody wait, he has a question. Where is he? He's right here. He says, every, oh, excuse I have me, a everyone. Question. Okay. So we're gonna wait for him. Is that something else, though? Um, are there any calls about the mayor of Italy? Um, yeah, there's a few where he explains the job that he has. Is this Blue Wind Fucknuts talking? Are you, who's I'm not Will. Will is Fucknuts. Hey, Fucknuts! <laughs> Uh, but yeah, there, there, there's Mayor of Italy type things. I'm gonna be so disappointed when he says President of Italy. We should have called him as the Mayor of Italy from a, from a block to number. Hey, uh... Just be like, we're checking in on your progress. <laughs> just, just do like a terrible accent. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering if you wanted to sell the houses. Uh, that is great Italian Is accent. that good? I thought it was good. I, I don't know. I just was doing a voice. It didn't have to be Italian. Just... Lauren wouldn't know. One big oh this shit hit this Italian guy. Oh, well. Actually, I'm not even using the next check to pay on your ring. I'm trying to get this done before Wednesday so I can go get that hardwood floor out of the teardown house and take down to Kelvin. And then I can use that money to pay on your ring. Why did you get a ring that you can't afford? His life is so stressful. Oh, just oh, ever, all the money it. instantly goes to something else that <clears throat> is past due. You get your paycheck, and by paycheck, I mean your unemployment check, and it's already gone. <laughs> well, was trying to help me with it today, but... That was the, the external part. And... Alright, so the mayor of Italy, Blood, is... When Jamie started talking to Lauren again, he was being scammed by damn near every scam you can think of online. And one of them happened to be that, I think he said president of Italy, but I, I screwed up and said mayor of Italy, and now we're just running with it at no, this point. No, he said mayor of Italy. He I had to. I don't think he did. I'm not going to I'm not gonna hold it to it. But what? the mayor of Italy contacted Lauren looking to buy real estate in Cornville, Maine. Yeah, and man. wanted Lauren to look at property prices and then get back to him. And then basically it turns into this big, like, check fraud thing. It's like... They give them a check for a bunch of money, and they're like, you got to go and pay these people this money and this person this money. But what you got to do first is put the check into your account and yeah, then withdraw it. You've all heard the scam before. Yeah. It's, it's And there's that. some left for Lauren, but then what happens is actually 
there's no money and he just pulls out his own money yeah. and has to give away <clears throat> his own money it's that thing like oh we accidentally wrote you a two thousand dollar check and not a two hundred dollar check can you please send eighteen hundred of that back to us yeah and then, and then he does it and then the check returns right um i'm pretty sure that was the mayor of italy scam um but i do know for a fact that lauren was researching and was told that he would make like four thousand dollars for a month just, and all he had to do yeah. was two days of work or some bullshit it, like but that. But it's my favorite part about the thing is that they, they made him do a job. Like, he worked, like, a shift. He actually, like, looked up real estate. Yeah, like, he was actually working <laughs> during the... I mean, working. He War was just quotes. looking at Zillow listings. He was looking at Zillow listings and then being like, the house is for this much, and then, you know. But it's just funny that they, like, gave him busy work to do. Yeah, and he thought he was just going to be loaded. <laughs> He's like, oh my god, I'm going to make $4,000 this month, and I did nothing. You could tell he, he was easily Googling, easy money, uh, easy job, get he, rich quick. Like, he must have been on some scam list, because after one of them oh, came, happened, they were just all coming in, like, daily. I'm sure the first guy was like, this guy is an absolute <laughs> moron. Hit him with everything we got. How do you want to raise donation? Oh, everyone, please say a prayer for Cat G's health. Even if you don't pray, says DSP Historical Society in Thank his you, donation. So everyone, please do that. I'm sorry you're not feeling well. Lauren is a monk. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Both of us go. Do they sell your number? I'm not, is that yeah, how that works? Would. They will, yeah. I that mean, would make sense, because they were. it was like that, correct? They yeah, just... I mean, one like you said, once once someone catches them, he kind of goes into a list, and then they just start calling them. Especially if it's the same place doing multiple types of scams, they'll just start scamming him with everything they got. Yeah, gotcha. Irritated with what was going on with it. None of it made any sense. <laughs> but we did get Roy's place more insulated today, and... Fix his wood stove some, so it'll hold the heat better. You won't have to use so much wood. And then while I was working on the truck, Roy chopped up a bunch of wood for him and for me. Wow, cool. You got wood chopped, bro? He's actually... He didn't even mention alcohol today, except for once when <laughs> so he did. I found a Walmart-sized bag full of empty beer cans on a the edge of the woods. Size bag? They're all, are grocery bags all different sizes? Yes. They are? They're mm. very, very rarely one are one. they a different size. They're all kind of like I thought there was like a standard. universal size for a... For a... There's bigger bags, obviously, oh. and smaller ones, but... I don't know, man grocery stores in general or like Walmart targets they all have the same shit I found a Walmart sized bag full of empty beer cans on the edge of the woods why don't you shop your own wood that was that was Roy's beers Roy had a stash out in the woods he always does this I guarantee it he has a stash out in the woods he goes out and drinks it and Lauren's like I'm so proud of you for not talking about beer today Roy and then he goes what's this bag and he goes oh somebody brought beer out here I don't know that's pretty badass just what? having stashes of beer in the woods I didn't know it that's pretty cool <laughs> I'm so proud of him you didn't talk about alcohol um, once today well, I actually once. love that idea I'm gonna yeah. start doing that just start planting beer cans randomly so I always have one near me just, just be like you know I don't know, anywhere, you just crack a beer. <laughs> Where'd you get that? Oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, I don't know, I don't drink. I do. Normally, most of the time, I do. And I actually chopped his a whole bunch of wood for him last week, so when he got home, he wouldn't have to, he wouldn't have to go out and chop any wood. He could just go back and lay down and relax. Cool. And I was just up there up in the morning, so that... Yeah, we could get a space more insulated. And... So if you shot your own, why did you ask him to do it for you? I didn't ask him. This was a wood that I can cut up already and had stacked. Tactical beer drops. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, come oh, on. I just told you I didn't ask him and you said sure. Well, he doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> Learns like, I can go back to prison as well. Why would bad. you say that? You're going back. I'm drinking. 
He wanted to do it himself. Because you are a liar. Yeah. Oh, God. You lie a lot. Why? Why are you being this way? I didn't lie to you about anything. Anything else? Anything else about what? You never lied to me before. Oh no. Jamie, why are you being this way? <laughs> Are you that bored that you have to just try to pick a fight or what? Mm, basically. Kinda. Hello. Oh, uh... <coughs> Good lord. Did Roy chop down a four foot Christmas tree for himself too? Oh, no. Look, why are you doing this? Why are you don't you want to enjoy our time together? Lord. What? I don't lie to you. Let me guess, dump truck man's coming next. Does Roy know dump truck man? He, well, he wasn't it. wrong. I mean, those were the two <laughs> big ones, right? <clears throat> uh, gee, how'd I see that one coming? Because you just said you don't lie, and she pointed out the two biggest, dumbest lies. Why are you just trying to pick fights with me tonight? I'm not. Honey, you are too. I'm asking questions. Yeah, well, isn't that in the past? Well. Isn't that in the past? You brought up things from the past. Stop bringing up the past. Now, when you went to that football game. No, I'm asking questions right now. So, uh, am no, I I'm lying to you? Right now. Am I lying to you anything about anything right now? That is clobber, indeed. It is brother Derek. Probably. Like what? All of it. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh, good gravy. Okay, I'm not lying to you about anything. Virgin too. No. No, I'm your virgin. <laughs> no, you are everyone's virgin. No, everyone can't have me. You're the only one that can have me. Oh, lucky her. Because you are a virgin. You're the only one that can have me. So I'm your virgin. She's so lucky. You are a virgin. <laughs> okay, if you say so, I'm I'm a virgin. I do. But I'm your virgin. I'm your virgin, though. I used to say I, I was your virgin, Jamie. Remember? Then you went and you got that virgin penis. Honey, I'm really sorry that that you bored during the day. You are the virgin. I could do. That's right, I'm your virgin. <laughs> oh my god. No, duh. <laughs> yeah, duh and yours. The virgin, not mine. <laughs> the, the, and yours. Yeah, I'm yours. She doesn't want you. <laughs> she just said you're not together, <laughs> motherfucker. What? Of course, gnomes, we can explain Dump Truck Man again. Fuck off upstairs. Take it away. I was waiting for the call, man. I never wait. Fuck <laughs> off up. Um, gnomes asked who Dump Truck Man is. Uh, I'll replay the, the last bit of that real quick, and then I'll answer Dump Truck Man. Fuck off upstairs. Fuck off up. Okay. Um, Dump Truck Man, so Lauren was unemployed for a long time, and Jamie kept pestering him, like, you need to get a fucking job, and he was like, I'm looking for jobs, and he wasn't. So then, um, 
basically he he finally said he was looking for a job and he found this guy kind of near Walmart or something and he had he had a dump truck so he went up to him and was like hey I noticed you have a second dump truck here beside you at this store somehow um, all these all these details kind of come out over time after he's questioned but the, the 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 full story is a man with two dump trucks is sitting at a store and Lorne goes up and says hey I see you got an empty dump truck um, can I work for you and he says no and Lauren said okay thank you and apparently that's applying for a job um, so it took a lot of time but then he eventually owned that he made that whole story up so, so shocker <laughs> um, so that's not check man I feel like what a stupid lie like I mean like, just ask a random dude off the side of the road yeah hey uh what are you you want to read this one actually what is better, a city built on rock and roll or a city built on safety codes? Well, we built this city on rock and roll. That's what I'm going to say. Thank you. Uh, oh, and another one. Love donating said, I've been donating all this time in an attempt to, be, to buy Blue Boy's love. You got it. It's, it's been purchased. You own it now. Thank you all that donated. But yeah, so he made up a story about a dump truck man just to not get yelled at. That's yeah, pretty, that's pretty much it. And then it just turned into a thing that was rubbed in his face from then until the end of Jamie. He said in a recent call he applied to advanced auto parts. Um, he did not get hired. I can tell you that much. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember that. He, for all of 2020, he did not have a job. From when, from the point of him being released from prison. Until Jamie stopped, uh, not talking to him the first time, which was, what, January or February of 21, he did not hold a job. And then when Jamie got back in contact with him, I believe he still didn't have a job. He was doing scams and shit. Hmm. So. Sigmund has a question for you. Here. Thank you. If Lauren is indeed a virgin, do you think Jamie ever could have gotten him to the point of admitting or would it have never been? No, I mean, he won't own it. He sees it as, like, um, something to be embarrassed about. Well, and he's taken the lie too far at this point. Yeah, so, like, he'll he'll never own that. Just like he'll he'll never really own what he was doing on the internet around yeah. that time, point in time when he was arrested. But there were multiple decoys, like Disney Girl and Kimmy Kimmy Coco Bop here. There were there was Kayla. I believe there was one other one someone said uh, last Sunday, yeah. last week. There was Molly. There was Melissa. Like, this is just who he is. But before anyone knew all of this shit, his excuse was that he had never done it before, he was lonely, it was one-time mistake, and then when Jamie starts calling him out on this thing, he's like, well, the one-time mistake was a period of time one-time mistake. It was just in that period of time. And then when Jamie mentions the other decoys, he says they never existed and that was made up, and they get a fight about... Um, about perverted justice when brought up about molly and melissa his new excuse is that's when he started doing that f time frame of when he did it because it was only like a month or two between molly and and the, and the sting which also isn't true hmm. but it's just who he is at the end of the day this guy filled a polygraph about the fucking national anthem <laughs> and i think that tells you everything you need to know mm -hmm. right Anyways, this call does continue because Chef Jeff needs to be created. Can you hear me now? Hello. Yeah, Apparently I... Apparently not. I keep seeing hello. Yes. Okay. I agree, Blood. I think that he was looking for that for that on the internet, and obviously he got some, but then wants to act like... That story changes, too. It's like someone just sent it to him, someone sent it to him, and it popped up immediately, 
he clicked a link and didn't know what it was, and then he was disgusted by it. Then it turned into um, perverted justice sent it to him to get him in trouble. Then it turned into perverted justice gave it to the people that gave it to him just so that they could get him in trouble. It's excuses out the ass. I mean, that's all Lauren does is just divert attention from himself, blame it on somebody else, always, never stops. It's never a fault. Was that me that lost my signal or did you hang up on me? You told me to fuck off upstairs. Fuck off upstairs. Fuck off upstairs. <laughs> upstairs. Because I'm not quite understanding that one. It's a scene. What's that supposed to mean? It's a saying. It's not a saying I've ever heard. Where'd you get that saying from? He's bloody fucking touch of that! Well, I never heard half the shit you say so. Well, good in you ghosts and everything. No. Where'd you get that saying from? Alright, guys. Here is when it all happened. From Shiv. From where? Shiv. <laughs> Shiv. From the hell Shiv. Shiv. I think it's clear as day, but... Shiv. 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 Who's... Jeff. Who's Jeff? Chef. Chef. Um, okay, I, I don't know, obviously don't know what the word you're saying is. My name Jeff. <laughs> Your name Jeff. <clears throat> Jeff. So, who's Jeff? My name is Jeff. Your name of Jeff. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Chef. So who's that? <laughs> well, who did? Say their name. Chef. <laughs> he still doesn't get it. Chef. Chef isn't even an, uh, Chef. an option. Chef. Chef, Chef, Jeff. One of those words. Chef, Chef. Good enough. So who's that supposed to be? So who's that? <laughs> Good enough. Good enough. Oh, it's my friend. Oh, another guy from the internet. <laughs> women can be chefs too. You go fucking figure. I don't even know how many women you know named <laughs> Chef and Chef Jeff and. <laughs> You go fucking figure. Go figure that. Oh, fucking cunning. <laughs> Chef makes excellent risotto. Yeah. I have no idea what risotto is. <laughs> I have no idea. He doesn't know what a mango is either. Must be some Italian food. Must be. Must be. So, chef. You're saying chef. Give me Sometimes chef, where I chef yells, where's the lamb sauce? <laughs> and, so, who's, who, who's a chef? <laughs> His brain just fucking malfunctioned right there. Who? <laughs> who? And, so, who's, who, who's a chef? <laughs> who? Who's the chef? It's Chef. So who's it, who is it? He's Chef. Is it Chef or Jeff? Oh man, uh, uh, John, I'm you know I love the Ramsey shows, so I'm just rambling off the stuff you said. And I figured Lauren, you know, 
And by me, I mean Jamie, sorry. Um, I figured Lauren would know Ramsey because he, he, he watches off of like bunny ears to watch television if he's not watching Three's Company. So you would think he would have seen it at some point. Can't be Chef Boyardee. Chef Boyardee doesn't say fuck off, so. Chef Jeff. See? There it is, guys. The Chef Boyardee bitch is already building. Chef Boyardee. Chef Boyardee is the only chef I know, and he doesn't say fuck off upstairs. Chef Jeff. A friend of yours from the internet, right? <laughs> yep. Yes. Yeah. A real fucking winner. <laughs> what? I'm repeating, I'm repeating words from a guy from the fucking internet. <laughs> Repeating real Re fucking winner, <laughs> real fucking winner, and repeating words from a guy on the internet. <laughs> I mean, you could technically watch a video, and if a guy's saying something, you repeat it back. You've learned you're saying something <laughs> a guy said on the internet. I, Lauren's technically a guy from the internet. If we're quoting him, does that mean we're talking or mm -hmm. saying things from a guy on the internet? This is, this is what you do with all your fucking time. You're spending on the uh, you're spending all your fucking time on the internet with guys guys from the internet. Okay. What? Uh, before one respond or Jamie responds, we got a donation from Love. Now I'm starting to investing in Reborn's Love. Appreciate that. Whoa! Love. So much love. Can I read this one? <clears throat> DSP Historical Society says, I heard Chef and Jeff makes some wicked door dogs. The, the, even just the concept of door dogs makes me sick to my stomach. Yeah, not like, like soggy, slimy hot dogs from a door. <laughs> from a door. From a door. You know they're like about to go expired too. They've been in there for several months. Oh yeah. Uh, thank you both for donating. Fuck off upstairs. <laughs> oh no. no. Whatever. The rage isn't there like it is in the second chef recall. But... Chef Jeff sounds like a fucking retard. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse you. Yeah. So this is what you do till five o'clock in the morning. Talk to Chef Jeff. Never was all, said. All your other guys from the internet. All your other guys, not just Jeffrey, but see all your and other as, guys. And just to point out, this was never the plan when this call started. Originally, it was never like we're gonna call him and make up a fake chef. No, it was just like this just happened organically. Ja Jamie wanted to say fuck off upstairs, and she did, and then it turned into this whole rabbit hole of. Chef, Chiff, Chef, Sif. Oh, he sounds like a fucking retard. He's, he's a real fucking winner. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, son. But you can't spend shit for time with me. Uh, shit for time with me. That's not a nice thing to say. You can spend all day and up till 5 o'clock in the morning with guys from the internet. Yeah. But you can't spend shit for time with me. Shit what do you mean? For time with me. You're up till 5 o'clock this morning. Chef Jeff has a job. Oh. I don't give a fuck what he's Chef a Jeff has. He's, he's a I chef. I don't give a fuck what Chef Jeff has. Well, she's just proving she can't be on the internet with him all day because he's working. That's the point. That's the point she's trying to make, however, Lauren's just taking it as a backhanded insult that yeah. Lauren doesn't have a job. So, she must be, uh... I do like the, the Jamie clarify that Chef Jeff's job was that he is indeed a chef. <laughs> part of his name. Yeah, Chef Jeff the mechanic. What I do give a fuck about is that you spend all your time with these guys on the internet, and you don't spend fucking shit for time with me, except for an hour, sometimes more, a night. Mm. Then you give me an attitude. I'm spending time like right fucking... now, even though we aren't together. Yeah, well, it's not my fault now that we're not together, Jamie. It's your fault because you keep saying fucking <laughs> no. Bless you. <laughs> you broke up with me. Sorry if y'all heard that. Yeah, and oh, yeah. you repeat that every fucking time, and I constantly ask you if you will go go back with me again, and if you will marry me, and you continuously say no. I wonder. Why? If you want us to be together, why would you continue to say no? Thank me right now. 
<laughs> Why would you continuously say no? Make it snappy. Thank you for saying no? <laughs> He's just so You confused. should be thanking me. Thank up. me right now. I thank God for Make you uh, for you every I thank God for you every fucking day. Okay, but I don't thank God when you tell me no. Thank God, thank me. <laughs> you should be thanking me. Thank me right now. Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> I'm not going to say thank you for saying no. She didn't ask you to. Thank me for my time. <laughs> Jamie, knock off your horse shit. Chop, chop. Do you say that to you fucking internet guys? <laughs> what? Do you say that to you internet guys? To you internet guys? Didn't sound very sincere to me. Thank me again. <laughs> Jamie, knock off your horse shit. Chop chop. Do you say that to your internet guys? Say what? Do you tell them to thank you for your time? Jesus. They do it themselves. Boom. Oh, I'm sure they do. Then I thank them. Yeah, for what? I want a goddamn hurry. I haven't seen that video in ages. That time. What do you think you for? For that time for doing what? Talking to her. Yeah, how can you can't follow this? No, he he gets lost a sentence later. He's like, what, wait, hold on. What are they thanking you for? Sex? Was it sex? Did you show him naked? Are you naked? Have you seen him on cam? Ooh. What? Fuck off upstairs. Thank me again with feeling. Okay. I'll do it when you start pissing me off. No, that's sweet. Oh, baby boy. No, nope, it's now or never. Jamie, don't tell me it's now or never. <laughs> no, nope, it's now or never. Better thank her. Did you say that to your internet, guys? Oh my god. Why don't you spend Why are you all your fucking off, time with? Ones that you spend all your time with? <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. Why are you pissed off, bro? Because you love your fucking internet guys more than you do me. Now she loves them. <laughs> He's so fucking He ramps it up himself. I don't love any. <clears throat> Every time it's just like, oh, she's just talking to a couple dudes or something. It's like, you're fucking in love with them? You're gonna marry them? You're gonna have sex all with day? them? You seen you seen your tits? You seen your panties? Holy! I'm um, love donating. Said chop chop bang bang when he did it. I like chop chop bang bang. That that should be Sheffrey's catchphrase. I don't love anyone. Thanks so much, no uh, love. Except for the internet. <laughs> Except for the internet. Except the internet. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll hear one. He says it a couple times. We can hear I that. don't love anyone. No question no. all. Question all. Except, Except the MJ. Except the internet. Except MJ. Somebody who spends all day on the internet and all night on the internet loves the internet. <laughs> I love MJ and only MJ. Well, who the fuck am I buying you a ring for then? It's a good question, dude. Yeah, why are you? Stupid. You tell me. Got him. Whatever, Jamie. Oh, continue playing fucking bullshit games? <laughs> He's as dumb as a I'm not playing games. <clears throat> yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. How? You're playing games, Jamie. Explain how. how? Yeah. You love playing games. If you don't want me, just tell me. Lauren broke up with her and then expects her to immediately go back to him and he's like, you're playing games, Jamie. Mm-hmm. You broke up with me. You even got a statue of it. I tried to ask you if you, if you want to be more than your opinion. games. I tried to ask you if you want to get back together again. You continuously tell me no. I wonder why. I'm not playing a game with this. 
I love you and you know I love you. I want to be back together. I never wanted us to be broken up to begin with. Then why did you break up with her? Because he's hurt and he's upset. <clears throat> You don't understand, Jamie. Will you marry me, Jamie? <laughs> <laughs> the, the proposals are just fucking Twice. terrible. I, I love them. They're just terrible. They catch you off guard. It's like, yeah, for, great fucking doing all this shit and talking to guys on the internet. You love the internet, don't Chuck, you? you want to marry me? Will you marry me? <laughs> Listen, what if she said yes? Would you really want that to be the way it goes down? Hey, well, how did you propose? Well, I was yelling at her on the phone. I was lecturing her about the internet, and then I said, hey, will you marry me? She said yes for some reason. Why would I say yes after the way you behaved exactly? Why do you think a couple days is enough? That seems like a game to me. Breaking up with me and saying that nasty shit then get mad at me for saying no to your proposal. That's a fucking game. Processing. Jim, the only way I can make You're up the one playing a game. The only, the only way that I can make up for things the one that playing I said a game. Is, The only way that I can make up for things that I said is over time. Is what? Is over time. The only way he can you make can up for things. apologize. You... No, no, no. The only way is time. <laughs> just wait it out. Just, just, just a bunch of time will pass, and you'll be like, "Well, you didn't, you didn't make up another Christmas tree, so you must be." Eventually, she'll forget. Yeah. That's one way to go about it. There's never taken away the love that I have for you. Oh, I was so see. fucking right, so why do you want instant gratification? It's not instant gratification, Jamie. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. You broke up with yes, it. Yes, it is. Then you want to get back together immediately. No, it isn't. It's the fact of the matter that I'm laying my heart on what the line What is instant you. gratification? <laughs> it's the fact that I'm laying my heart on the line to you. I want to be with you. I don't want anybody else. You're the only one that I fucking want. Aww. And have wanted since I fucking... We started this. Aww. Sounded like Baby Boy's about to cry for a second there. It's He knows it's not working, so the tears should flow here soon, I would assume. I've never once lied to you about the way I feel. Mm -hmm. It's debatable. When you broke up with her and you didn't <laughs> want to, yeah, like guess what? You... Yeah, well, if he's never lied about the way he feels, what about those text messages when he's like, you're a dumb, stupid bitch. Jamie, you fucking bitch. You're a whore. <laughs> yeah. I mean, again, like, he said, I never wanted to break up with you, so then why'd you do it? You lied about your feelings? Yeah. That already proves he's a fucking liar. Or, he was, he was, he was actually telling the truth when he broke up with her, and now he's lying now. So. Yeah. <clears throat> Will you marry me? Oh. Three times. Three. Weren't you the other day when you told me all that nasty shit and said it was over? Was that your heart on the line? Where are you lying then? So you did lie about the way you feel. You should really think before you speak. Um. I, just, I should have waited for Jamie to say what I was going to say. Uh, the person in the pink shirt is Kimi Kimi Coco Ah. Well. I'm talking to you like I am when I'm talking to you like I am now. I've never lied to you. The one in the blue what? dress is Disney Girl. Wait, what are you saying? Oh, sorry. Well, I'm talking to you like I am. When I'm talking to you like I am now, I've never lied to you. When I'm talking to you the way I'm talking to you right now, I've never lied to you. I never lied to you. Does he mean I'm not lying right now? Kimmy Kimmy Coco Bop is one of the decoys Lauren talked to on the internet. He talked to multiple girls. They just didn't have very long conversations. Like, I think Disney Girl was like, hi, you should be careful of the weirdos on here. Some shit like that. But hey, the way that I'm talking to you right now... It's never been a lie. It's never been a lie. Except the times where it was. You did. When I talked to you like, when I talked you to you like I did the other day, that was, that was me being hurt. That is a good, good idea, Sigmund. I'll think about that one. I haven't added anyone in a while. No excuses. There's no excuses, Jamie. I did what I did. I can't take it away. I did can't say change it? that. Yes. So you lied. Yes, I did. I can't. I can't change what I did. So you lied. Jamie, come on. Why are you <laughs> continuously trying to put me on the fucking spot with this shit? 
All she's doing is like refuting what you're saying. Yes. It's not putting him on the spot. I don't continuously try to put you on the spot with shit. You said you didn't lie, but I point out in clear example. And I'm not telling you anything different. You did. I can't change the things I did. The things I said. Hmm. The only thing I can do is let you know that that's not really the way that I feel. The way I feel about you is incredibly strong. Right, so why do you... It's incredibly strong. That's why I broke up with you. You want instant gratification. <laughs> you don't no, the it's not on. instant gratification, Jamie. It's something <laughs> what? that... What is instant us being broken up. He told Kimmy. I didn't know that. Us being broken Oh, he told one of them he's eating his... <laughs> Is eating a pot pie. Was it his mom's chicken pie? Was he eating his mom's chicken pie in Nashville? What, like, like, or was like it just he a pot brought pie? one? Yeah, like he brought one with him. Oh, I don't know. I'm assuming he bought it. Probably. <laughs> it would be funny if you pictured him, like, escaping Maine with $30,000 in, <laughs> in a casserole dish of his mom's chicken He's pie. Like, Listen, I got my new truck, I got my clothes, I got my computer, and this pot pie my mom made me like. <laughs> Gotta take night. all the important things. <laughs> Us being broken up never should have happened to begin with. Mom, I just robbed an old lady. Make me chicken pie. Are being engaged? <laughs> I gotta leave the state. <laughs> you bought pie. Never should have been called off. Are being broken up never should have happened. Then why did you break up with me? Because I was stupid. Mom's chicken pie. I don't know if it's this call or... I know how I feel about you. I don't ever want to take that away. There was I some... never want to take that away. I, I, I don't know if it's this call or not, but there's a, there's a call I listened to recently, and Lauren states in it that he has never... Okay, just hear this, and you tell me your instant reaction is, okay? Chat, too. Lauren says that he doesn't know how his mom makes the crust for her chicken pie. Right? Because okay. Jamie was asking for the recipe. It's this call. It is this call. I'm not going to ruin it. I'll wait till okay. we get there. I'll wait till we get there, guys. Sorry. Sorry. I love the way I feel about you. I said you have to work to the, the way relationship. I, feel about you. I love that the way I feel about mean you. you just ask and that's it. I love thinking about you. Yeah, Jimmy, you were on me tonight about stuff that I, I didn't even do anything today to deserve that. I Man, James, I don't know if it's pre-made or not, but when he gets to that point, I'll explain what I was trying to go for. All I'm trying to do is care about you and all I'm trying to do is care about you and what's going on there, during your day. What does that have to do with what I said? Nothing. It doesn't have anything to do with what you said. It's just the matter of the way you're treating me today. Then why did you say it? It's P juice. Yes, yeah, part of me working. It's all about PGs. Part of me working towards it's pee water. A relationship it, is you act like an ass to me. Just pee water, carrot water. We were supposed to be trying to get this back together. Right here is what I deal with. All right, I'm skipping Jamie. Type in. <laughs> But when you hear every noise Lauren makes. I love you, Jamie. Aww. I've always loved you. Ask her again to marry you. I wanna fucking marry you. How was your day? My life is over. What happened today? Nothing. But what happened today? Nothing. But what happened today? Nothing. But what happened today? Nothing. Yeah. Okay, so there's a good... Hold on, guys. There's a good... 10 seconds of dead air. Jimmy, when you pop out with my life is over, it automatically tells me that, you know, something must have happened today to make you feel like... I not, have been saying it. I not, said it yesterday. Uh, I know you said it yesterday. So you say your life's over yesterday, mm -hmm. and the day rolls over and you're like, my life is over again. Does it? Does something have to be no. happening that day to make you say that, or could it just be carryover? Could be carryover, but. Oh my 
So better ask I keep trying. Like, <laughs> Lauren does have this weird thing where just each day resets. Your feelings just have to wipe the cash. You're starting over. So I keep trying. And I keep trying to tell you your life's not over. When you when you tell me that, it makes me feel like something happened today to upset you. Yes, Pi, that's the, the other thing, is that it couldn't be Warren. And I said it didn't. Do you wish you guys would have thought of these awesome rebuttals in real time back then? I uh, I think the robot did a pretty good job of rebuttaling mm -hmm. certain things. There, I mean, there, I guess, are things where I'm like, oh man, I wish this yeah. would have happened, but... Eh. I think, I think he, the robot went well. He throws out some, like, really bizarre shit sometimes. And it does take a lot of like it would take I have me to off process it. <laughs> yeah first You're like what the fuck did you just say <laughs> what or it's like it's just it's so it's so stupid you're like i don't even know how to respond to that like earlier on this call we were we took five minute break to try to dissect what the fuck he was talking about that happens in real time you don't even know what to say to him <laughs> you're trying to impress yourself what? <laughs> yeah, like, what are you talking about? I was trying to find out why do you so feel uh, that your life is over? Times. Hmm? I was trying to find out why it is you feel your life is over. I'm sure Lauren is wearing that Bama hat until it rots. Why it's continuously... Like why it's not... <laughs> changing. Do you think nagging me like a parent will get a different answer? I was hoping it would give me something. Something that I could try to help with. Which is why I say... Fuck off upstairs. Oh, no. I'm playing the silence in this one just so you can hear Lauren's brain in action. Alright, you want to repeat your internet guy's phrases, whatever. And that guy's phrases. This is still silence on both their parts now, waiting for something to happen. Sitting in your room all day is not going to help you. Shut up. Uh, no. I'm not going to shut up. So I shut up, and th that's what you do. That's what you've been doing. But that's a good one, Tommy Gunn. Will's told me that's what you that's what you do is you sit in your room, you just, you're upset. And... The last time I went out, you have thrown it in my face every chance you get. No, last time you went out of your room. Fuck you. Don't do that. Why would you say that? The last time I went out, you have thrown it in my face every chance you get. That's why. I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> you stopped doing it. Not when? anymore. The day, to, today. Today? In yeah. this call? This past hour. Jamie, you told when me to stop and I stopped. I don't know. Couple days ago. Jamie, the only reason that I have ever said anything like that it was because I didn't want you getting sick. But that's the it wasn't so. It wasn't so that you couldn't enjoy yourself. Well, she didn't. Stay in your room and do nothing. Well, he thinks when she's like, I'm staying inside, he he thinks that literally means like she's in her room and she's not leaving the room. So right, the suggestion like, is, well, go to your backyard and play cornhole by yourself. Right, like that's, somehow that's different than going out. Right, she's like, I'm watching a movie in my room. Well, go to the living room and watch one. It's like, that doesn't make a difference. It doesn't change anything, you fucking idiot. And she could be on the internet in the living room right. while watching the movie. I just don't want you getting sick. Uh, then why is it only brought up when you are mad? Ooh. That's a good re retort. That's a good one, because he's, you can tell, because he yeah, doesn't That's when I'm, when I'm an ass. Because that's when I'm an ass. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. You're good to come back, dude. And that's my fault. And I'm sorry for that. But if it's only about me not getting sick, why would you be an ass about it? 
Another good question. What's he gonna say? Hello, no lie. There's a bunch of silence Jamie's typing. Because it's not, it's because you are selfish and it only has to do with me not being there. Jamie, I want you to go out and have fun. No, you don't. Well, Jamie, I just you don't are want you. I just don't want you getting sick. Case closed. I want you to get sick. Great word. Did I have a problem with you going Words. out with Maggie Joe that time? Did I have a problem with you going out with Maggie Joe that time? No, I didn't. I felt like you needed to you get did. out. What time is he you talking did. to? No, I didn't. No, I did not. I, I believe the time he's talking about is <laughs> Jamie and MJ go on like a romantic weekend in the mountains in a cabin <laughs> together. And it's like maybe one, a couple of days they go just, it had like a, a heart hot tub in it and all this other bullshit. And somehow he didn't have a problem with that, but please believe that was Will. <laughs> yeah. Called every he'll, ten minutes. He lost his mind. I felt like you needed to get out. You've been cooped up in there for a while. After the fact you said I couldn't go alone with MJ anymore. Tolerate <laughs> Dudley. Well, and, and why was that, Jamie? But you just said you didn't have a problem. I didn't have a problem with it. Because I trust After you. After the fact you said I couldn't go alone with MJ anymore. And why was that? But you just said you didn't have a problem. Um, All Might, I am Canadian. I don't, Blue Boy, I don't think is Canadian. But uh, yeah, you're all, uh, we'll say hosers all the time. I don't care. Let's, let's do it. I didn't have a problem with you going with her. After the fact you, you know said that. I couldn't go alone with MJ anymore. You, you're just repeating yourself and not listening to what I'm telling you. Oh, let's listen to one. I heard you. No, well, you heard me, but you're not paying attention to it. Uh, yeah, Peck. Love Donate said, You're so jealous of the doctor because he's everything you're not and could ever be, or, or could never be. Did Jamie or Casey use this phrase or something close? Um. I don't know how I would have used that phrase. Um, not... um something close. Uh, probably the closest is when uh, she was. Uh, I don't know. In case he was talking about Roy and how he was a natty daddy and he was really cool. I think I think she sort of uh, the robot sort of did it with Will, but it wouldn't be in that in that regard it was more like these are all the good qualities wills has what do you have kind of thing um a hoser is just like a stupid person i think it's been a while um but i'm pretty sure it's oh yeah and with alex she was she liked alex a lot yeah i i know that um mj was kind of put in the position of being what lauren thought he was she was everything he thought he was, and, like, that was also brought up to him. But she was a woman, so it didn't really get to him, I don't think. <laughs> you didn't pay attention to what I said. Jamie, I wanted you to go that time. I felt like you needed to get out because you'd been cooped up. <sighs> Did you after? After, no. Because you got sick. Then you didn't. Because you got sick. Then you didn't. Plus all the, plus all the flirting then crap you that you did in there. <laughs> <laughs> this chair sucks. Chef Jeff all the flirting. To give me cooking lessons. Oh, gee, of course. <laughs> I won't be bored tomorrow. Oh, gee, of course. Can't eat it, though. She can't eat it. She can only eat blended onions. Spending a lot of time with Chef Jeff, huh? 
Eh. And learning to cook, you stupid bitch. <laughs> you tell me assumption, man. You don't need to learn to cook. I'm just going by what you say. No, you aren't. Assumption, man. Yeah, I'm I am. Caller. That's right. That's a tag team. Who'd you, who'd you spend till 5 o'clock in the morning with? Okay, then you are a compulsive liar. Uh, Outdoor Loser donated said, What time do uh, did you go to bed last night? Who did you text last? I don't... Outdoor Loser, this is not the venue for that. I'm not going to answer that here. <laughs> what time did I go to bed? Uh... When did you get back to your room? It was probably midnight, I think. Who was you talking to? Did I like, text last? Who probably was... Reborn. <laughs> Who was you talking to? That cocksucker. Um... <laughs> Thank you, Throw Loser. Thank you. Who did you spend until 5 o'clock in the morning on the computer with? Who did you spend... Oh, okay, then you are a compulsive liar. Who did you spend until 5 o'clock uh, in the morning? Why aren't you answering me? <laughs> Who did you spend... I'm just going off what you said, Lou. 5 o'clock in the morning with? The dumbest well, fucking way. How long way. did you spend with Chef Jeff last night? You are a liar. How long did you spend with Chef Jeff you last night? He doesn't... He, he knows the answer. Yeah. You just don't want to answer me. At least saying, like, how long did you spend time with him was yeah. better than the first way it was said. As much time as I wanted. Yeah, obviously it was quite a bit. Ooh. He didn't want to spend that much time with me. Ooh. Oh, it's obvious. Um, must be. That's all you're talking about tonight is Chef Jeff. No, I haven't. Oh yeah, we got we got your new scene from him. She's mentioned Fuck him off twice. upstairs. Like that's a, a sounds intelligent. Twice that in, sounds intelligent. Twice in an hour all night. It's nice that you get uh, all this time with What's some guy from the internet. Yeah, nice that you get all this time with some guy on the internet. Okay. And you get a special date with him tomorrow for cooking. Special <laughs> date. Right, you assume what you want. You always have, you always will. You've changed. I just, you know, go by what you say, Jamie. My god. I go by what you say. You don't look for work and you are a compulsive liar. Got him. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Chef Jeff has a job. Well, I'm using your logic. Jeff, Jeff has a job. Yeah, he's a chef. It's in the name. Don't like when it's pointed at you. It doesn't matter what I doesn't say, you can't lie. Doesn't make sense when it's pointed at you. Which makes time number two. <laughs> it doesn't matter what I say, I'm a liar, remember? Yep. Sure are. But Chef Jeff has a job. He does. <laughs> say it again. He does. Him tomorrow. <laughs> With and you have a cooking He's date a with him tomorrow. I'm pretty sure his job would be. And you have a cooking date with him tomorrow. Say it again. So if you hire nice. someone to teach you how to cook, is it a cooking date? Listen, I went to this class. <laughs> There's like 12 of us dating this guy, teaching us how to cook. Well, apparently. That's well. Apparently. Well. Time with you and him. Well. Yeah, and everyone else. We're all dating him. You are a little bitch. You know, you spent quite a lot of time on him last night. Grew apparently. The apparently. Grew the fuck up. No, who'd you spend, who'd you spend a lot of time with last night, Jamie? Myself. Chef Jeff. She didn't even say <laughs> Chef that. Jeff. She didn't even say that. 5 o'clock in the morning. I thought she said earlier she was watching videos on her phone. Yeah. Or on the computer. Well, here's the thing is, Lauren said, were you chatting? And she said, yes among other things, which was watching oh. videos. So now, all those other things never happened. <laughs> it's just she chatted with Chef Jeff until 5 o'clock in the morning. You can't. Alrighty. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you calling me cunt? I'm not getting on the internet spending time with a bunch of women. Is that what Are you would... saying Jamie's being a cunt right now? Wow. There's only one woman that I care about. I wonder who it is. It's not his mom. Because then Jamie's off the list. Yes. What does Lullet Club refer to? 
Um, there's a wrestling faction in Japan called Bullet Club. It's actually in America now, too. In America. And a lull is something Lauren used to operate. So. So you combine the two. And you get Bullet Club. <laughs> it's clever. It's very clever, actually. I do like it a lot. Um, so Lauren's group is the Wallet Club. Guess your mum fucked off upstairs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> really gonna start saying rude things about my mother. Seriously, Jamie. I think he would. Oh my. You said only one woman. Yeah, so. That woman is you. And only one woman I care about. In that. In uh, the, guess your mum fucked off upstairs. The only one woman I care about. In a one as a wife kind of way. Prepare for another stupid wording of Lauren's. Because <laughs> he's going to repeat this about six times. So you don't listen. There's only one woman I want in a wife kind of way. Why do they call and you reboring? Huh? Why do they call you reboring? I don't know. It's just, it's just the way of life. <laughs> Bless. There's only one woman I want in a wife kind of way, and that's you. As a, the only woman I want as a wife, not. No, not not as a wife. In a wife kind of way. In a wife kind of way. And guess what? It was you. Oh, <laughs> shit! Didn't see that it's, coming. That's you. One more time. He's gonna repeat this a couple more times, but I just want this. This I think is the clearest one he gets. There's only one woman I want in a wife kind of way. And that's you. That's a great question, and that fuck friend. Oh, right, because you changed the wording now. Got it. You know what I meant to begin with. What did you mean? No. Can you explain it? Yeah, you did. No. Will you be my wife kind of way? You Jimmy, did. I have feelings for you in a wife kind of way, and it's you. Even though I already said that part. Telling me what I think again. Will you say yes in a marriage kind of way? Jamie, what anybody says there. Uh, so much. Says Would you be open <laughs> to being with me in a wife kind of way? Jamie, what anybody says there. Uh, so says much. Right. When anybody says what I said. Uh, Change so much. Uh, when anybody says what I said, it, it's obvious no. I weren't talking about my, my mother. Oh, God. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Will just instantly there. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> so. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Oh, no, I wouldn't say that. Well, because I care about many women. You, MJ, Terrible, Terrible. The one was called a girl you know? Terrible. <laughs> yeah, no, that's silly. Is that it? Hey, I need my phone soon, so you gotta... Wrap it up. Alright? No, it's still on Saturday. Alright. Goodbye. Thanks, Will. I like how the clapping's like the bad signal. Just Will, like, I picture him downstairs, like, watching TV. He hears the clap. Is that how you do it? I mean, that's how I would do it if oh. I was. And Will just books it upstairs, like, as fast as he can. Because he's always there in, like, a two second supposedly bedroom layout like Will's next door to her so when she does it he just goes into her room it's funnier to but think still, he's sprinting yeah sprinting across like this gigantic <laughs> mansion to get to her Jamie I, I'm coming <laughs> I thought everyone said it your way when I said it the way that I did Jamie it was obvious I weren't talking about my I mother I thought everyone said it your way um, when I'm doing it, Raven, I'm not clapping. This is just my phone getting smacked into my hand over and over again. There's only one woman that I care about in a wife kind of way, and that's you. I thought everyone said it your way. There's only one woman. I don't know why you want to keep repeating that. That I love in a wife kind of way, and that's you. Jamie, I love you. Yeah. Uh, I see my marriage proposal coming up. Here we go. That's nice. Okay, man, hold on. It has to be. He's, he's wrestling. Will you marry me? 
He's mess he's wrestling X Derek. No. <laughs> See? See? <laughs> See? That's encouragement. See. That's encouragement. That's encouragement? The fuck? Moron. <laughs> Instant gratification. See? <laughs> That's encouragement. Sorry, I'm not more like Chef Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> He's so butthurt. <laughs> My god. It's okay. I think that was like... Whatever, Jamie. Four or five. Fifth proposal. How, where are we at? I, just, uh, I think that was the fourth one. I think. Does she love... <laughs> does she love him in a husband kind of way? I just like that he knows the answer. See? See? Wasn't a very enjoyable night for us, but at least you'll have an enjoyable time with Chef Jeff. Oh, baby oh, boy, oh, oh. come on. Baby boy is coming out. Nothing changed from the last time you asked minutes ago. Why did you expect a different answer? Because <laughs> I thought I knew the way that you felt about me, too. <laughs> Apparently, I'm wrong. Well. God, baby boy. I told you how I felt. No, oh, you don't love anybody but him. Maggie Jones. I'm not a liar like you. She Ooh. said it already then. You said you don't love anybody but Maggie Joe. Yep. And that includes me. That's right. That includes myself. I... Why would you do that? Why would you not love yourself? You I, I think... Okay. I'm gonna rewind again, guys. Sorry, we're gonna play this out. But this is one of the two things I was trying not to spoil for the call. Okay, so... Jamie's explaining why she doesn't want to get out, right? Okay. She, and now she's saying, like, she doesn't love herself. Okay? Here's, here's Lauren's solution to the problem. I... To... Why would you do that? Why would you not love yourself? You need to get uh, You need to get off that fucking computer. Why would that have anything to do with it? <laughs> the reason Jamie thinks her life is falling apart is because she's on the computer. <laughs> that will solve it. Oh, you're depressed. You don't. You don't love yourself or anything. You, you can actually hear his brain switching, like switching gears while he's doing it. Listen. You need to get, uh, you need to get off that fucking computer. <laughs> you need to get, uh, holy fuck, you need to get off the, uh, you need to get off the computer and get out of your bedroom. Yeah. That's it. What? I hated that you're sitting in your bedroom all fucking day long, or night long. <laughs> oh, boy. I hate that. You, you're cooping yourself up. You're driving yourself fucking nuts. Your dick will never replace Maggie Joe Golden Pussy. Okay. <laughs> My God. He's fucking joking me. He's killed him. I'm fucking believable. He's fucking killed what? him. You really must not love me to say some stupid fucking, stupid fucking shit like that. Is that what gave it away? I thought it was like the 20 times she told him she didn't love him, but I guess all you have to do is say something about the golden pussy and you're in. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus. Uh... I mean, I have said I don't know how many times. Are you getting off the fucking phone? Um, I, I just left you off the phone now. You can enjoy your fucking night with Chef Jeff. <laughs> I'm talking about Maggie Jo. <laughs> well, she doesn't have a penis. Uh, fair enough. Man, Jamie was just dropping the fucking hammer in this call. Um, got a donation from H. Having a drink from McAllen, Texas, and listening to this stream. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you, H. H. Banging H. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. So uh, he hung up, and they they didn't talk for a couple of days, except maybe yellow. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hello. 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 I think 
I think part two of what I wanted to talk about is coming up here. Okay. You need to get off that fucking computer. <laughs> so we'll uh, take his phone. Then why, why didn't back? you say anything? He's an idiot. I did. You didn't? You did he do? No, yo, I didn't. No, yo. Yeah, I did. I said hello. I believe he doesn't like yellow because of Will. Said it twice. What's your mom's chicken pot pie recipe? Okay, guys, listen to this. Listen to this part. This is what, this is exactly what I was talking Should about. Should I write this down so I can cook it later? Well, he's gonna give you an answer you're not expecting. What's your mom's chicken pot pie recipe? I don't know exactly what she uses in it. She makes her own crust. She makes her own crust. Okay. No, I, I, I want Chef do... Jeff to rate it. I don't give a fuck about Chef Jeff. I don't give a fuck about Chef Jeff. Don't talk about Jeffrey like that. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> about Woody? Chef? About Woody? About who? Chef Jeff. Chef. Jamie. Jeffrey. 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 That wasn't what? that sweet. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Isn't that sweet? You got your own little nickname for him. His name's uh... Jeff, and she called him Jeffrey. No, she called him Jeffrey. Oh, it is. It she? is Jeffrey because she because he's a chef, and his name is Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Oh, oh, that's cute. Yeah. Well, that's cute. It's coming up. I don't give a fuck about your internet friends, Jamie. Maybe he can make pointers. I don't give a fuck about your Is internet that friends. Bad? Make pointers to my mother, an 80-year-old woman that's been cooking all her life. He's a professional chef. You can you can cook for 80 years and still be shit at it. Yeah. Doesn't mean you're good. No, I don't think he's got any pointers. I mean, based on your palate, Lauren alone, I would think that she wasn't very. <laughs> but he might. No, um, you'd know. You're the one that spends all your fucking time with him. He's a pro, bro. Yeah, you'd know. You spend all your time with him. This is Jamie's bro phase. Doofy, come here. Come here. Come here. Come on, up. He's gonna say it here soon, and it's gonna blow your mind. Come here, MJ, scratch that point on me. So can you tell me the recipe or what? No. Especially not so fucking... Jeffrey... <laughs> ...can make it. Jeffrey. I don't know how she makes her crust. Isn't that how she makes her crust? Okay. Said it again. How do you not know? I don't know how she makes her crust. Doesn't know how she made it. Okay. I've never made it with her. I've never made it with her. Right? Never made it. You've made it though. No, I've never made it. There's a video <laughs> on his YouTube channel that he made! He made the fucking pot pie! How does he. <laughs> Did he forget? I guess. He's never made it. it. I was losing my mind when I heard it. I don't know why. It was just like, I started yelling at the computer going, You made it! It's on your channel! Oh my god. It, I just couldn't imagine forgetting everything I've done. Seconds after I do it. it the chicken pot pie is on it. Okay, alright, sorry guys. But yeah, so that, that one blew my mind on this one too. Just... I don't know if he's doing it on purpose to not give out the recipe, or if he literally I wonder if forgot. That's it. I made it. I made it one time, but she had already made the crust for me. You no, she didn't. <laughs> I don't recall that. <laughs> he made it on the. Oh, sorry. Okay, right. You just said you didn't. Well, I remember that I did make it one time, but she made the crust stuff for me. She didn't. I want to. I just want to pull it up right now and show him making it. I am curious. I do want to see how the crust is made now, because this has gotten me. I bet I got it somewhere. Hold on. 
I make sure to keep all the worn stuff. <laughs> Let me look for it. I'll play it one more time. It's hard Better. keeping track of lies. Jamie, will you stop it with the lies? Because I forget and remember. Did your mom mean your a apron on for you? <laughs> oh no. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> I'm asking a question. Well, it's a question that you're using to take, try to take a shot at me. Just a question. You no, know, it's a question to take a shot at me. Just a question. To take a shot at me. Alright, hold on. Otherwise, that question never would have been asked. Real quick, let's just... Oh my goodness, sorry, hold on. Hey, Joe. Just to prove it to you yeah, guys, we're gonna it. relive this moment. The, all over the whole thing. Where did he make it so at? Thick. He's making it right this here. This right here is cream of chicken soup. So. He's making it with fucking pea water. Oh, wait, actually, this might be the chicken mix. We're just skip past it. You guys can all see this. Is that the same shirt from the dinner ring video? I believe so. I don't want no money. Trailers for Okay, sorry. Here's the crust. If you want to call it that. Here, he just said and crust. Flour. With a crust. <laughs> he has one and a half cups of flour. That's right, sassy and pea water. One teaspoon of baking powder, which is all mixed up. Already right in this yellow. Dish. Well, mommy pre mixed it for him. Oh, is that <laughs> what it is? One cup of real butter, which I've already got melted. Of a so real butter? Real butter. Not that margarine oh. shit. Oh. And then he stirs it. Wow, that's hard to remember. And all. And boy, it tastes good. <laughs> As I'm eating, we'll just pause it right here. Play the rest of this call with him. Oh no! All right, well, whatever. Anyways, it happened, right? Why are you going around my questions, Lorne? Not going around your questions, Jamie. You do have to make. You, you have to wear. It. You have to wear your dirtiest jeans when you make it. Um, because it was a stupid question. Um, Jamie sort of did, John. She was like, "You did make it," and he just was like, "Oh no." But you said you weren't going around it. We were going around it. You weren't answering it. Jamie could have shut off her like memory bank while she was doing <laughs> this too. Who knows? Because it was a question to take a shot at me. Oh, so that's not going around a question? Pea water. You were asking the question to take a shot at me, Jamie. I'll remember that next time. I don't use the questions to take a shot at you. Will you marry me? Will you marry me? Why are you spending so much time on the internet? <laughs> oh my god. I'm sure Jeffrey makes a better one anyways. Oh! Whatever. She's That's like an undeniable fact though. He is a professional yeah. chef. Fuck your mother's one. Now you're taking a shot at my mother. <laughs> How? Yeah, some people don't love your mom as much as you claim oh, you do. Oh, for the sake of Jeffrey. <laughs> You're insult. I sorry. I'm gonna go back. You're insulting my mother. Now you're taking a shot at my mother. You're insulting my mother. All for the sake of Jeffrey. All for the sake of Jeffrey. 
Yeah, it's an undeniable fact that this chef probably makes a better pot pie than his mother. Yeah. Even though she's a maid. She neighbor. just canned peas and carrots and stuff. Canned peas, canned par- uh, parrots, too, mm, I maybe. guess. Parrots, carrots, uh, pea water, buttermilk. Real butter, though. Real butter. Does melted. Chef Jeff have access to that? I don't think that's a thing that a chef could get his hands on. It's only something someone that, as Lauren once put, survived the Great Depression <laughs> could find. You need to learn what a shot is. Everything offends you. Moose butter. Why are you spending so much time on the internet? (laughs) Question. Why are you spending so much time in your room alone? Does Pepsi say people are taking shots when they think Coke is better? (laughs) Fucking gold. Why are you spending so much time on the internet? Why are you spending so much time in your room alone? <laughs> right, Stingerbell. Like it's he just doesn't understand the internet. To escape my boring life, why, Dad? Is a lecture coming? I hate that fucking internet. Yeah, because your life is getting more boring the more you're on the internet, and the more you no, spend isn't. time alone. She's learning how to cook from the internet. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, because you met Jeffrey. Yeah, her life's better now. But she met Jeffrey, and she wouldn't have if she wasn't on the fucking internet looking for guys. Her life would be better if she was outside playing cornhole alone? Yeah, she should be practicing her cornhole by herself in the backyard. That would be much more fulfilling life than talking on the internet. What are you getting bitched out about when you go out of your room? I like that you can tell me about my life. Do you just talk down to everyone constantly? I hear you do it to your mum and brother. Ooh. Holy fuck. Constantly finding something wrong with me. <laughs> oh, Andrew, there is plenty more, my friend. Yes. Says the guy. Says the guy asking me about every move I make. Jamie, all I do is ask you about your day. Um, no, you don't! No, he grills her about who she's talking to and why she was up till 5 in the morning. Yeah, he has, there's a hidden agenda be- yeah. behind him asking these questions, sir. There's always ul- ulterior motives for That's the, what I'm trying to say. Uh, Graham, uh, he, he, she was. She was born after the Great Depression, I believe. But he always says that, like, she, I don't know if it's like hype his mother up to people, but he always says that she, like, found ways it's, to eat food yeah, during the Great Depression. Yeah, to make her, like, more of a fucking... Survivor. Yeah, I don't know. Like, she's such a, a creep. Yeah. Maybe. Like, look at all the tough stuff my mom's gone through in her life. <laughs> I don't fucking care, man. I don't care. I love when, uh... Oh, your mom's fucking old. I love in the throuple when, when Jamie does the 180 on his mom and just starts saying that she's like a bitch and how dare she because <laughs> she stepped on Lauren's dreams of being a singer. She's a cunt and I'll never trust her, Lauren. Don't say that about my mother. No, she stepped on your dreams. And you don't want to fucking tell me. So, what the hell do you want me to do? Oh, try to try to strike up a conversation with you. you. You don't continue it. You answer with a quick yes or no. Asking me about my day. I was. When? When we first started on the phone, I started asking you about your day. That that weren't good. Just a quick yes or no. I'm talking about right you... now, not the past. Yeah, well, I bet your conversations last better than with Jeffrey than they do with Stop me, don't going they? back to the past. Otherwise, you wouldn't spend till 5 o'clock Stop in the morning on the, the on the internet. On the internet with Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> with Jeffrey. Oh, my Pat says Yeah, she was, she was one when the depression ended, so Mama Gwen didn't have to, like, do anything. Wasn't, she wasn't taking care of herself at one. Right. Yeah. She was born in the day of the Great Depression. She fed she fed her family at the age of two. <laughs> Why have Reborn and Blue Boy been spending so much time on the internet? I don't know. I need to go, guys. Well, it's like I have to now because in seven days I'll be in prison for the rest of my life. Well, see, I'm going to do more with my time before we're locked up. And I'm going to go and practice cornhole by myself. It's a good way to spend it. I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna take a cooking class. No, 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 you can't do that. A cooking class date. 
No, 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 you can't do that. You can practice by yourself, or you could go watch a movie in a public room. I but... can't just watch it in my bedroom? No, 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 no. That's, that's, that's the end of it. That's the end of it talking. <laughs> you are a fucking <laughs> child. You need to get a grip. Yeah. It used to be you and me who spend till fucking one o'clock in the morning on the phone with each other. I mean, maybe once or twice. After spending a lot of time. One o'clock in the morning for him. <laughs> for him, yeah. Who knows what <clears throat> where Jamie was at in that, that point in time. No, it's like you don't even try. <laughs> no, it didn't. No, it did not. Yes, it did. Happened when you were at home. Happened before you you got COVID. DSP says Sheffrey Uber Rod. Does that mean Sheffrey's better than Rod? I would assume so. Oh, well, now you're banned, dude. You took it way too far this time. Uh, thanks, sir. I remember you calling me when you were, and texting me when you were in your car. That when was you were, when you were having somebody drive you somewhere. That was when Jamie had a voice. Okay, and at that point in time, it had been ten months since. <laughs> Maybe, maybe maybe nine months since she had a voice. He's talking about nine months ago. I remember you texted me after a shoot. He can remember that. Right. And text me when you had. You late at night. We didn't talk into the late of night. Yes, we did, Jamie. Yes, we did. No. We had we had phone sex into the late at night. <laughs> no. Yeah, we did. No. Yeah, we did. We had phone sex late into the night, James. I remember you texting me right after you had lunch with Tom Hanks' wife. Again, I don't know anything about this. Again, this is when Jamie had a voice. <laughs> okay. You can't remember shit you said minutes ago. Again, nine months. Oh, this man, I told you. Something wow. stick. Nine fucking months. Something stick. Go figure, it's mostly sexual. <laughs> how was you having... How was you having... Lunch with Tom Hanks' wife sexual? No, the other parts, dumbass. What was before that? <laughs> like, did you forget? Uh, how was you texting me when you are in your car what being... Was before that? Driven somewhere? How was you being, uh, being driven in your car texting me have, have anything to do with being sexual? That's not what you said. Yeah, you're missing the sexual parts you just I, mentioned. I said that too. Oh my god. I said you. I remember you texted me right after you were done with the shoot. I know. You I don't remember, remember shit well. Right. This whole thing. I remember it well because you sent me a picture. Now you're irritated because I didn't want to see that on you. She sent what? a photo. She sent a photo of herself in the shower after a shoot, and it looked like. Uh, it was someone's leg, and you could tell if you were just looking at the photo enough. But he thought it was her ass. Like, he thought this was her ass. Okay. Okay. I know you guys can't see it, but, like, if you look at your leg, you have your, your leg up, I like guess. Like, where you're, like, if you crossed your legs. The underside, yeah. So, that fold was covered in, like, flour and water. And, um, it was supposed to be coon from the shoot. <laughs> and Lauren thought it was soap, and he was like, "I want to lick that soap off your butt, honey." And he, she's like, "That's not soap." And he got, you know, pissed because it was. It's Kim. It's Kim. Yeah. Now, of course, she this had is... Kim on her ass and decided to text it to her boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, this is of course when Jamie had a voice, so I do not have that, but it is a good one. <laughs> DSP says, donated and said banned by Blue Boy. Little, 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 blue Boy. Got him. Boom. Yep. <clears throat> um. Thank you, sir. Um, but yeah, so that's what he's talking about there. Tom Hanks' wife is again in a, another when Jamie had a voice. Um, all of these things that he's talking about happened in the first month, and they, they they have not even remotely come close to those things since then. So I don't understand why he's bringing them up like it's proof of something. More sexual stuff. I remember you sitting in a chair and Sending me a selfie of you. <laughs> Your hair was straight. Yeah, it was straight. Of course he remembers her hair. Of course. Now he knows that women can like straighten their hair, right? It's not just like the hair is straight and then it's curly. 
Well, that's one instance months ago. Yeah. There are things that I remember. Sometimes after a while I remember things better. Sometimes I don't. That was all the time. Things stick, sometimes things stick with me really well. That was all the time. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes things stick with me really well. That was sometimes all the they time. Don't. What was all the time? Did I remember things? No. That's what I just said. Sometimes you said things we don't do stick all with the me. Time. We used to text when? and spend a lot of time together. We, Jamie, it wasn't that long ago. It was almost a year ago. Almost a year. So it's been let just me in the last. This dummy. It's been in the, just in the last month and a half, two months that you stopped talking, texting as much. Shut up. So let me ask you this, dummy. Silence the Jamie typing. You don't think the way you treat me and your actions have any influence on that? <laughs> no, it has to be someone else. Lawn's never to blame. I haven't been perfect, Jamie, and I know that. Back to the perfect. Can I say I'm sorry when I'm not? Oops, sorry, guys. What ask you do? Much of silence. You won't be mad about me being upset about the things that happened? Be mad. Be made. But don't stay mad forever. Fuck up. Like you are hanging on to something. I didn't ask you to be perfect, but there's a big difference between wanting someone to be perfect and someone constantly accusing me of cheating or abusing me. I'm not constantly accusing you. I'm not constantly accusing you of cheating, Jamie. Yes, you are. In this call alone. Yeah, a couple times in this call. Bro, this whole fucking Todd and Rod bullshit, that pissed me right off. Pissed me right off. It was constantly, they're just friends, they're just friends. Then all of a sudden, Rod comes up with a business deal. Oh, right, and what about Will a few days back? What about Will? I haven't been upset about Will. For quite a while. Yes, you have. Well, yeah, but you doing a shoot with him? Damn straight, him. That's Some yeah, I'm upset about stick. that. Damn straight, I'd uh, damn straight, I'd be upset about that. He's my friend too. And I don't want that in my head. I don't want to have to think about that. I don't want to think about that. Quote, what's really going on between you to Jamie? Didn't have a problem, right? I don't know that Rod has uh, slept with her at this point in time. I think we're close to it, but I'm not sure if it's happened yet or not. But yeah, this definitely... Sheffrey showed up after Rod and Todd. Um, and then he got really mad about Sheffrey, so we kind of, like the robot kind of stuck with Sheffrey for a while. Yeah. Um, and, uh, we have a donation. Anyone seen the new Scorsese movie? I have not. Are you seen it? Well, are you going to see it? Am I going to see it? Probably. I what like is movies. It? Um, I don't really remember. I know that, uh, Leo's in it, obviously. But, uh, thank you, DSP. I might go check it out. Well, I, I do want to see it. I just, I'll probably wait for it to be on Netflix or something. Jimmy, that was more than a few days ago. That was a few months ago. No, it wasn't. Oh, no, I, I, I know what you're talking about. Oh. See, stupid. Oh, <laughs> got him. What you got, Lauren? There's always something. Um, you know what that is, too. I didn't hide that from you. You just said there was no issue, motherfucker. God damn. Don't give me your bullshit excuses. You don't want to like his girlfriend, don't like him. I don't understand it and I don't agree with her. Poor Terrible. Shit like that is going to happen. We're not going to agree on everything. Yeah, but it seems like you guys disagree on most things. <laughs> I don't think you guys really agree on anything. You are constantly assuming shit and making me answer for them. 
You are constantly telling me what I think or feel. This is a constant conversation with you for 10 months long. You are the fucking problem. This one's garbage. You don't see yeah, me you. doing some of the things. Can you hear me now? Rod's got a business deal. <laughs> What's Todd involved? Can you hear me? It's just about pointing the finger at anyone other than yourself, isn't it? Jamie, I, I know I don't... I try to listen to you when uh, when you point shit out to me. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. Well, something's repetitive. You're wrong, when you, Jamie. When you You're do wrong. The... No, I didn't, Jamie. When you do something... That you listening. I think his phone's shitting out. Your phone is shit. Will wants his phone. Fuck off upstairs. Yeah, all right. All right, guys. No, uh, you know, meme aside here, that was the end of Chef Jeff. Um, I hope you enjoyed the call. I know it's not as great as Chefry, obviously, but I think that it, you know it fills in um, kind of the gaps, I guess. I think there's one other call about Jeffrey before. Um, there are texts, I'll go look for them. Um, but I, I think it's fun. I think him not knowing he cooked his mother's pot pie on his own fucking YouTube channel is pretty funny. I find that very interesting. Um, and now you're all for him? Uh, there's not a lot. Let's see Hold here. Hold on. <clears throat> you might as well see if there's stuff after the call, because before the call, it's Ugh, just going to be bullshit. It just even starts off super lame. Yeah, good morning, beautiful, precious goddess. Shut My up. beautiful, precious goddess. I wish I could be holding you right now, precious. I love you so much. That's at 2 in the morning. Two. It's almost 3 in the morning, and then she's like, okay, night. <laughs> at 3 in the morning. Wow, just going to bed, and, you know, just grilling her. Wait, wait, go back. <laughs> My beautiful, precious night owl. Like, fuck off, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He just rambles about... Let me read it. <laughs> oh, yes. Actually, this is a... Uh, so, this is a good one. Okay. Do you want to read it? Do you want me to read it? All right, let me read it. Let me read this Go one. ahead. I don't know if you remember. This is Lauren's... This is one of Lauren's big ideas for, like, putting... Um, a safety net in line okay. for Jamie. So, guys, right? think of this. This is Lauren's idea instead of, like, starting a savings account. Or, like, having um, life insurance that would yes. cover if he died for Jamie. This is his plan, to, to set Jamie up if he dies. I don't know if you remember me telling you that I want to buy you an expensive necklace so that if something should happen to me, then you'll have more things to fall back on than just life insurance and bank accounts. Both why, of which he does has he has neither he is neither. negative yeah. ten thousand dollars and he doesn't have life insurance. Yeah, it's just just uh, instead of getting the things that would matter, let's come up with this plan. Once I get your ring paid off and have a steady, secure income, I want to put a necklace on layaway that will take at least five years to pay off. The more money I'm able to make, the more valuable things I want to buy. To make sure you have nothing to worry about financially when I'm gone. Gold only accumulates in value, so whatever you decide you want needs to have gold in it. <laughs> and the and the more gold there is, the better it will be, baby. Just, Woo! just buy her a gold bar, then. <laughs> I don't know. Buy her a gold bar, yeah. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get a necklace and put it on layaway for five years. <laughs> what does that even mean? He's gonna go to Kmart. Put it, I don't know if you know if those exist anymore. Get her a five dollar sterling silver. Sorry, go. No, ahead. buy gold, a gold necklace. Uh huh. And then, after five years, how much money do you think that's gonna go up in five years? How much will it go up? That's the thing is I don't know. Like, tell me, tell me in your mind, 
how much does a, a necklace that takes five years to pay on layaway? How much? How much does that necklace cost you at the end of the day? Uh, after, I was like, after all the fucking fees and uh, like. Like, how much was the original price of right. the necklace? Not how much you're paying in in fucking interest <laughs> and late fees because you're Warren Armstrong. <laughs> how much does that necklace cost? I don't know. So Lauren, s- Lauren spent a year or so paying off a four thousand dollar ring. But I just like how he's like, I want it to take at least five years. At least five. So Do it could go ten. Just, I mean, you guys see this? I mean, it makes no sense. It makes this no sense. Fucking... And again, this this whole idea is to get this necklace on layaway so that when he dies, Jamie can pawn this... her necklace for cash to cover the bills. It's the <laughs> dumbest. And like Smurfbook says, if it's going to keep going up in value... That means every year Lauren's making payments on this, it's going to go up even more. Right, he's going to have to keep paying on it. <laughs> fucking idiot. It's just stupid. Like, this is the type of fucking scheme this man comes... Like, just put the money in a bank account. Yeah, it's it's so fucking stupid. <laughs> so then after this, this very... Uh, just a word I'm not going to say, but a very dumb uh, scenario here... He follows that up with, I've been helping your future brother-in-law insulate his living quarters more this morning, honey, so he'll be warmer. Now I'm going to go work on my truck. <laughs> Jamie, a five-year necklace? A five-year necklace. Everybody go out and buy your loved ones a five-year <clears throat> necklace. Okay? Don't pay it off, though. Okay, Kyra. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go for it. I'm trying to get valuable things so that when I'm dead and gone, you will have some things that the value of them will only go up. So that you'll never have to worry about money. And hi, Precious. You can read this one too, but I want to read this one. Okay, and then she says nothing. So two and a half hours goes by. Great fucking job. So happy that spending good time with me is important to you. Guess I need to be from the fucking internet for you to want to spend any time with me now. So then at like 740, I think this might be when the call ended, but he says, just so I don't have a stroke after all. I think I made my mom's chicken pie on a, on one of my YouTube videos. I can't remember if the recipe from mom's homemade crust is on there or not. No, I do not have a problem with you having the chef for a friend. It's the it's the Rod and Todd situation I don't like, and that you're keeping yourself in your room all the time. <laughs> I'm working on something, so it will hopefully help with your boredom. I'm hoping you won't be able to figure it out too fast and that you'll enjoy it, but you're really smart, so it won't surprise me if you do finish it fast. And I love you. Is it the crossword? That must be the crossword. Is it the crossword? Hold on. When did the crossword happen? I put that up the other night. I can't remember what it was. I bet it was around this time, though. Yep. Yep, it was the crossword. It was the crossword. Because I think we played the 15th the other day, and this is the uh, 13th, so. Um, wow. Uh, I was looking for something just now, and I found this. Tony with the sunglasses, me, and my, my brother Paul. It's just that photo he sends to, like, everybody. Yeah. Um, so. There you go, guys. That was, uh, I'm, as of right now, I'm calling it Chef Jeff, because... It just Chef it, Jeff and origin story. I, yeah, I really just like the idea of uh, showing people how Lorne kind of created this thread. It wasn't. It was just a stupid throwaway line that Jamie had of "fuck off upstairs," and it turned into this whole thing just by playing off of it. You know, I think I don't know. I find that really cool. I mean, it just did Chef Jeff was Chefry was an organic thing, and now like I couldn't imagine my life without Chefry. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, we got a few donations. Uh, let me read. Love says, Casey told Lauren not to sing. Was this a, in a phone call or just in text? How did he react? Much love to both of you. Um, do you remember how that went? I mean, I think I, I think just, you, I think, I think it was just a text message. Yeah. I think he might have su- like sang one time and was told don't do that. Don't do that, yeah. Because you're not very good. Um. And honestly, I don't know how he reacted. Yeah. I can't I, I'm pretty sure it was just a text, love. Thank you for the question and the donation. Yes, thank you. Uh, Philly, ask your question. I'll see if I can answer it. What? I don't know. Oh. Medium Syllable says, uh, how do you think Lauren would react if Jamie asked if she could be with someone else after he dies? 
he probably wouldn't like it. I think she, he would expect her to well, stay a widow. Yeah. And mourn his death until she dies, and then join him in heaven. You're gonna use that that gold necklace money and, and spend it on your new cocksucking boyfriend? Yeah, yeah, he'd be pissed. But guess what? If she died first, Lauren would definitely find someone else. Yeah. In a heartbeat. Uh, do you want to read this one? Well, it says please don't read it, so I'm not. Oh, going okay. To. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Well, thank you, DSP. Uh, you want to read this one? I want Re Bjorn and Blue to buy a five dollar gold bar. So here you two go. Split the gold bar. I need to know your bull set up for the future. Thank you so much, Ethel. Thank you. That uh, Gold goes up in value, so I can't wait to cash in on that. It's I mean, what, a is the, what is the price of gold right now? I don't know, but it's going to be a million dollars when I cash it in. I'll tell you that much. Uh, Outdoor Loser donated and said, uh, I invited friends over for cornhole. One of them pulled out 50 bucks and smacked <laughs> my ass. Suddenly, everyone hauled out their cocks. And I'm, st oh, I'm still no. leaking. Thanks a lot. Outdoor Loser. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, good gravy. Well, uh, thank you all who donated. I really appreciate did it. Did Philly have a question about a call? He did, but he hasn't. He's probably still typing out his um. What call he's looking for? It was a phone sex call where he was telling her, "I want your." I want Dick your dick. <laughs> oh, that's got to be a winnie call. Yeah, that sounds like a winnie call. Or she I can't. The I rules. can't help you with that. I, I, I don't know. Would, I'm not good with the, the with winnie calls or what. Someone has to know. Sigmund's usually my go-to. Sigmund's good at it. Sigmund's He's really good the at Hall that. of Records around here. All right, guys. Um, I think that next week we will listen to the Alex call because I sort of know where it's at. Outside of that, I don't know really what we could listen to next. But anyways, I, I hope you enjoyed. I saw a few people saying you liked the call. I, I'm glad. Um, appreciate everyone spending their Sundays with us. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If not, maybe next time. All that good shit. If we're here next time, I mean, you never know. When the, when the this is the countdown. The final countdown, if you will. I'm not going to play the call, or the song, because, you know. Might Do I know who's at the door at the end of the 87th Casey call? Um, is that the... Is that the... Um, what? The 87th Casey call, is that the one? The I video? have no idea. Probably. Oh, you don't watch them? <laughs> I lived it. And by that I mean, uh, you know, I, I think I know what happened. Who was at the door at the end of the 87th call? Who was at the door? I don't know. I'd have to listen to it again. Anyways, guys. Um, thank you so much. Yada yada. Do you have anything you want to say to the people before we close out? Um, Thanks for coming here tonight thank you for coming <laughs> that's it i guess and uh i guess we'll just hit the outro thank you to all that donated stay safe we'll see you next week maybe paper thin walls goodbye ramona taste the biscuit Taste the goodness of the biscuit. Taste the honey sauce. Taste the goodness of the biscuit with the honey sauce. Don't put that honey sauce on me. I don't like the way it tastes with wings. Taste the biscuit. Taste the goodness of the biscuit. Taste the butter spread. Taste the goodness of the biscuit. Butter spread. Get your butter spread out of me. I don't like the way it mixes with my mac and cheese. Cause when you're an MC, they got that special sauce for my curiosity. This can find these things over still. A big Box and small for me. You know, take cold small side. I can tell you, I'm trying the potato wedges.
taste the biscuit. Taste the goodness of the biscuit. Taste the honey sauce. Taste the goodness of the biscuit with the honey sauce. Get your honey sauce for me. I don't like the way it mixes with my chicken wings. Get that honey sauce on me. I don't like the way it tastes. Chicken wings. Take us out, Moose. Taste the, the biscuit. biscuit. Who wants a biscuit?